Hello. Hi. Go are ahead. We, are we live? We are. Are we live? Well, hello and welcome to this very special stream where we showcase some Wanderers characters. With me in this call are two very special people. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm Marco, also known as Mechanic Critic. <laughs> and with me are two very special people. Um, let's introduce you one by one, starting from the top. Let's go with not Danny DeVito, but... Laura Levito. <laughs> hey, Hi. excellent. Hi, and friends. who are you? What do you do for level 99? Just, what just do you do, Marco? Uh, I well, do all sorts whoa. of things. Um, mostly graphic design. I've been doing a lot of visual design. Uh, on BattleCon Unleashed, I did a little Kickstarter page. I did the Unleashed box design. Very exciting stuff. Are you saying graphic design is your passion? It's my passion. I love right. it so much. I love that meme. I love that old meme. Um, okay. And underneath Laura is, well, is it underneath me or it's underneath a, You're in Laura? the middle. This is like the Brady Bunch oh. of level 99 right now. All right. <laughs> I mean, underneath I mean... me is a very other special <laughs> person. Please introduce yourself. Uh, starting off with the lies really early in this stream, Marco. Um, oh, my name. <laughs> <laughs> We're all I... wonderful people, okay? We're it's true. Oh, it's you true. liar. <laughs> I'm not. Oh my, <laughs> my name is Alice. I'm a Brit. I have spent way too much time in Tabletop Simulator. And purely based on that, Brad just makes me make all of the Tabletop Simulator mods. I made the mod we're going to be playing today. I <gasps> make every mod for, uh, for level 99 games. All yeah. right. That's wonderful. So if anything, if you've been playing any of our games on Steam's Tabletop Simulator, you've literally played Alice's work. And um, if anything's wrong, it's her fault. So yeah, definitely. blame her. Yeah. And sometimes it is Tabletop Simulator's fault because they make a really weird update that literally breaks anything that's double-sided. <laughs> Obviously, Great. you should have coded it or made the mod <laughs> in such a way that it's evergreen, that no, no problems could ever arise. This is obviously a personal failing on your part. <laughs> all, that, all that one time when I think three of Lily's cards randomly had the back of their cards break, it somehow couldn't find the image for the back of her cards, despite the fact that every single card in that mod uses the same card back image, <laughs> and it made literally no sense that it couldn't find that image for three cards in particular. I love technology, right? Oh my gosh. All right. Well, you know, hopefully we don't experience any of those problems, Alice, because <laughs> we're trying to show off two very cool characters for the Balkan Unleashed Kickstarter over here. Wanderers characters, to be precise. So I'm going to be giving everybody a quick lowdown of what each of these characters do. Laura is going to be my camera woman and Alice is going to be my opponent. And hopefully Punch we back. don't mess up too bad is everybody ready is chat ready because i'm not gonna wait we're gonna start i'm gonna be playing a character named um laura can you please zoom in on... oh god i already screwed up <laughs> it's no nope. got it Voros. nailed it Voros. 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 <laughs> I, I don't know kangaroos cervecal kangaroos cervecal kangaroo um, got it yeah <laughs> So, um, and his sir is spelled with an E, which, which you know means he's fancy, he is right? Fancy. He's a revenant knight. Um, I'm gonna flip this card so that Laura can see the opposite side. Thanks. Um, so, okay, she Laura can... has a Laura she has can... a unique ability. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh... Vekel has a unique ability called Eternal Service. Um, long story short, Vekel has these red um, wisp markers. Uh, these aren't indicative of the final product. Please remember that these are just placeholders. Um, Vekel has wisp markers that he can place onto the board during ante. And at the end of the beat, um, the wisps move closer towards the opponent. And if any of them end up in the opponent's space or something, uh, they make the opponent lose life. So Vekel can essentially oh. make you passively lose life using his ghosties. Ghost bros. Ghosts? He's got ghost bros. I yeah, he's it. got ghost bros. Like it. he's like that yeah. guy in Lord of the Rings who comes in with an immortal ghost army at the end. So that's him. Okay. Um, so he has a lot of cards. Um, I, I can't show the cards right now, but he has a lot of cards. I oh, I, I mean, yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, so he has a lot of styles and cards that let him this? interact with his wisps. 
by letting him um, move them or move the opponent in relation to them or removing them for extra power. Um, so he's kind of like a tactician brawler kind of character. Um, he's more of a brawler than a tactician, though, because a lot of his effects are just bonus damage. Uh, none of them are really tricky effects. He's not like Kadath or Voko, wherein you know he'll have a lot of defensive effects. Most of his effects are offensive, actually. And on the other hand, we have Rin, who is a ice ninja, uh, Northlands <laughs> ninja. My apologies. She's so obviously cute. she has no last name. She's adorable, right? So she cute. has no last name. And she has the scroll from Naruto that gives her the ability to make shadow clones. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it's not true. And turn into um, a log, I'm, right? I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm the embodiment of that meme image that's like, what sort of pathetic scum picks a fighting game character just because of how cute she is? And then just the cat, the person they're shouting at is just like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's legit. That's how I choose yeah. characters, so... Yep, that's literally how I pick my main. I'm sorry. I, I picked... Felana, because she's a lawyer and her unique base is objection. But so, so Ren's unique ability is essentially that she has frost uh, cards or frost counters. Can you flip her? And I did flip her. She did not flip for me. It's her. It's her pick. Yep. Flip it. Flip someone it. flip it. Except someone other than me flip it. There we Thank go. Thank you. Thanks. So she has frost <laughs> cards essentially, or frost counters, and when she damages someone, she places frost counters on them. Uh, equal to um, equal to the amount of damage she deals. There you oh, go. Yes. <laughs> Up to a maximum of five. Door. And then um, if she has, <laughs> if she's given me frost, so she, say she deals four damage to me, and I currently have four frost, my attacks have minus four power. Oh. Yeah. That's intense. Yeah. Yep. So if she's faster, she can actually reduce my power by hitting me. Oh, yeah. Right. So, my objective so, is to just keep him frozen into a block of ice all game so that he can't do anything to me. Yeah, you're like reverse Schecter. Damaging me makes me weaker instead of making you strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then my, I've gone with my deep freeze uh, finisher, which oh my God. Uh, what does it if do? I if I hit and you've got at least three frost on you, it just means you have minus ten priority next beat. So I'm almost uh -huh. definitely going first. That's wonderful because my mine is transfixed. Um, it there basically it lets me. Oh, there it is. Um, deal more damage to you if there are ghost bros between me and you. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, the you more ghost bros, the better. You you basically use them as ammunition. I mean, yes. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what happens is me and my ghost bros get energized. My ghost bros <laughs> give me the power of their friendship. And your attack, we, is, we your attack is amplified by ghost bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'm sorry, can we now call Wisps ghost bros? I, I'm going to campaign <laughs> for, like, official name change to ghost bros. <laughs> to ghost bros? Please. Look, I'm Fishin right. even says, ghost bros are cool and all, but I'm rooting for the cute ice lady. <sighs> oh, I gotta wow. go with ghost bros. Um, and Laura, at any point, if you want to look at the bottom of the card without flipping it over, for example, if you want to show off the what our attack pairs are before, without saying it, obviously, because that would let us know. Oh, hold uh, alt shift. Uh, yeah, if you what alt is it? to zoom in, alt to zoom in, and then shift to look at the other side. <gasps> oh, secret. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going to screw that up at some point. It's going to be great. <laughs> some Press I can't wait. Alt tab instead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that Press we've introduced the characters, oh. we've introduced the players, we've introduced the camera woman. Let's start this game on beat number one. Alice and I will be playing and maybe talk about some of the strategy <laughs> going under our heads or in our heads, over our heads. <laughs> Either way, I will now be playing my attack and uh, keeping quiet because uh, I don't want to give away my strategy, my secret strategies. Yes, I've got. Um, I decided to get rid of um, Rive for my Kazem. Uh, for those new to Battlecon, Battlecon is all about setting a pair of attack. You have your style, which is a modifier to your attack, and your yep. base, which is the main bulk of your attack. And yep. I decided to put, and you put aside two pairs at the beginning of the match that will cycle through. So you will always have two pairs of attack that aren't in your hand. And so both me and Marco have a 
rough idea of what each other has available to attack with. And yeah. so we can make educated guess, guesses based on that information, which will hopefully help us plan around what our opponent is doing. So, for yeah, example... It's a perfect information. Hmm. So because I know that Vekel has these um, Wisp markers, which I do not want mm -hmm. to stand on, I got rid of Drive, which would immediately stand me on top of it, because that would be a very bad idea. Oh man, I would love um, to say that I had strategy in picking my discards, but I just went with default discards. That's what I was going to ask, because <laughs> I, so I'm super, I don't, Battlecon terrifies me because of the whole like information overload thing. And I get stuck in that loop of like, he knows that I know that he knows that I know. And so then. But that's the Yomi. I can't do it. Um, but the like default discard thing like helps, but it's also really, it's cool to hear you think through like why you chose certain things, because I have no idea why. Yeah. Also, I have an entire article about why default discards, but okay. Why? Why they what? <laughs> Lose you games. They oh. suck. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they literally lower your win rates. I, I apologize, Marco. <laughs> I did not mean to offend you so no. soon. No, no, I'm not offended. No, I, I meant to offend you later, once we had eased into <laughs> oh, things. No, don't it's absolutely do not worry. <laughs> um, so, chat, tell me how are you? Um, how Simple how's everyone in chat? Head. <laughs> clearly one. i cannot drink the wine in front of me <laughs> it's exactly okay, that I that's me my cards if you put your cards just here i've got a couple of snap points which oh. will bring them in directly next oh, to i didn't time. know there were snap points there cool okay all right ready? so have you set your attack pair uh yep i zoomed in all right so anti phase we... hey laura who should anti first oh remember that anti first is a disadvantage uh oh my <laughs> the uh, mark was anti first Oh jeez! Yeah. All right, for my <laughs> first anti, I shall I was, use my oh what what pets? I was gonna say we can just flip a coin. You can flip a coin. No, but Laura's uh, better. Let's interact with Laura. Okay. Laura's I'm better, better than... than a coin. Praise. <laughs> Hi, praise. Yeah, I said go away, coin. <laughs> Leave us. All right. Uh, oh, um, uh, I will use Sevekel's unique ability to summon a ghost bro on my space. Uh, it's yeah okay. We've got the two starting. <laughs> yep, I already put the two starting force. So, um, during the anti phase, this lets us modify our attacks further using um, things called antis. Um, we have a force gauge system, and Alice can use one of these three cool things. Um, Laura, can you please zoom in on this? Um, zoom in on the three options so she can give herself more defense, more speed, or more power. And then um, the anti phase only ends when both players choose to no longer anti. So if... Um, Alice decides to anti right now, I can respond. I'm going to pass. Ooh. Pass? Ooh. Then I as well pass, Yugi boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we now reveal our attack simultaneously, as is the custom in Battle Con. Oh. 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 No, don't flip your finisher. <laughs> Let's just change That's that a... while we're at it. You've got a total of Four. I have a total of seven. Jeez, you're so fast. <laughs> Super speedy yep. ice girl here. Um, okay, so you've got a one got... to two. So you've gone Doom Blade. Uh, um, can we two... please zoom in on the cards? So yeah. let's 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 say the attacks, right? So I got... activate loyal Doom Blade. Loyal uh, Doom Blade. Mm. Got it. Okay, and I've gone with a Ninja Mist Grasp, which is Ooh. a... And so I've got Stun Immunity, and you can't activate any of your on-hit effects, so no zoom in activating here. Doom Blade, because I figured, I figured you might want to throw out a Doom Blade just to get the double Wisp hit this turn. You're way um, ahead of me, because you actually know what my cards are. Because I have no yes. idea what your cards do. Like I don't have them memorized. So. I, I <laughs> literally gathered. I literally gathered all of Veckel's cards up into one folder on my computer, and I've got them up in another window. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, you know, I'm playing with pseudo pseudo strategy. Um, my pseudo yeah. strategy is to be good. <laughs> Love you it. Play, you play Battlecon a lot. You've got an entire series on the Level Nine to Nine channel where you try to get better at Battlecon. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I'm maybe this is just my handicap. <laughs> yeah, this is your handicap. All right, um, so Ninja Mist goes first and yep. deals no damage. Oof. Oof, deals no damage. Fast but... attack with stun immunity. It's very weird. 
It is very weird. But it means that um, you, I mean, you were going, you pro I figured you were going to soak it anyway because of the soak two on Doomblade. So yeah, that's what, fair. what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you one space. And so you and can't give hit me, me back. No ice. No, no ice. ice. Okay. All right. But now you are. Aha! You have made a mistake. I activate. It's my turn now. I activate loyals before activating. Move to any space behind oh, the God. opponent. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, activate the end of beat effect of my unique ability. Everybody moves here. Ghost Bros. Ghost Bros. Um, ghost bros um, but ghost. the Ghost Bros do not. Yeah, the Ghost Bros do not uh, activate just yet. Okay. Um, and then I deal two damage to you. Two damage. Ouch. Unfortunate on two. my end. And what is this? Activate. Oh, that was on hit. Activate that. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm learning, okay. friends. I do not you get my on hit effect from Doomblade. Uh, Laura, please zoom in on Doomblade. I am. We're good. I got it. Yeah, so I cannot activate that because of Rin's Ninja Mist. Uh, can you zoom yep. in on Ninja Mist, which negates on hit effects? So I do not get the cool combo I was planning to, but I dealt two damage. <laughs> okay. We now move on to the end of beat effects. My Wisp Bro deals damage to you, and that yep. other Wisp Bro moves there. Oh, yep. I accidentally zoomed in. Oh god, I'm sorry. And now we cycle through our discard. Oh, oh, my mistake. I'm supposed to get the other one. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> quite right, quite right. Um, yes. Very good. <laughs> Man, right. I've, I haven't played this game before, so apologies. Marco's if... new at this. <laughs> He's never played Battlecon ever. All right. Um, can we spawn a marker that tells you how much power I have? Is there a thing? Can somebody please spawn, like, extra power? Why do you give me frost? Because uh, I'm making these Ex black. Extra power? Yeah, because of my okay. loyal style, can we please look at here? So whenever my opponent loses life, I gain plus one power this beat and the next beat, Yugi boy. So that means because my opponent lost life on a wisp. Oh, by the way, you should lose life from that wisp. So you should be at 17. Yep. Yeah, down to 17. Ouch. All right. So that means I have one extra power <laughs> this beat. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Is, right. is everything three-time never played the game? I'm not three-time world champ. That's That's... <laughs> That's that's Charles. Same thing, right? <laughs> Why are there two? I only need one. Why do you only need one? <laughs> because I you only lost one life. Damage is not life loss. Different things. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's only damage from like your wisp. Wait. Yeah. Uh, damage yeah. from my wisp bros. Got it. Um... Oh, I see. There's so much happening. Um. <laughs> so much happening okay okay now what you do it again right mm. Is it yeah we, we basically do the same thing at okay. oh by the way we should gain one force oh. so for those who don't know there's no beat timer the timer is when the force pool runs out <laughs> um i don't know what i should do this i guess hmm <laughs> Question mark. Don't ask me. I can't help you, Marco. Well, <laughs> nor would I, fine. right? Uh, nobody likes me. It's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> All right. Let's give. Uh, actually, no, let's not do this. And this try. Kift, Kift is calling Veckel the Pac Man Ghost Train. I like that. I mean, he, he is basically <laughs> Pac-Man ghosts. Come on, so... little ghost bros. Let's go. <laughs> go on a trip. Go, little bros. Go. Ghost, br uh, ghost bros. Ghost bros. Ghost bros. Ghost bros. Huh. What should Hello? I play? Yeah, Marla's but... being indecisive. You know, because I'm actually trying to play with strategy. You know, and that, like this would be me in this game. Every beat would be like 20 minutes for me. I'm sorry, but you do not understand. That's everyone when they play Battle Guns. Is it? So. I don't know. I don't know. I, I couldn't yeah. handle it. But he knows that I know that they know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I always right. know. So, uh, all right. Anti so, anti phase. The faster yeah, player was, previously yep. goes first. Okay. Yep, I was faster. So let me see. I'm going to pass. 
Oh, well, I obviously will summon another ghost, bro. Onto yep. my space. Tyrion Kin says Shopping. it's time to activate turn timers. We have that in <laughs> BattleCon Online. Uh, I'm going to pass. Yeah. All right, then I will pass as well. And now we will reveal both of our attacks. Also, my, my chair is crappy, so it's getting lower. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so speed of Mo four versus speed of one. Most nimble strike versus gas. This is the most shot. nimble strike most, that I've seen. Most nimble strike. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, so that so was giving you is... priority four, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Laura. Yeah, Laura, who goes first? Let <laughs> me tell you. Okay, wait. <laughs> that was priority four. And then <laughs> ghastly, uh, ghastly shot. Not Marco. Marco does not go first, right? No. <laughs> Unfortunate nope. for me. I can do um, math, friends. So I'm going to hit for a total of three power and deal three damage to you. Um, do, 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 so, do, uh, so, so I will gain three frost because of that, right? Yep. You gain the three frost on damage, so it doesn't cause the on hit effect. Um, well, no, 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 no. It does because you're there on attacks. The it's so, hit, then damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your, your effect says if an opponent has frost, their attacks, which oh, means okay. I'll have okay, minus so, three power okay. this beat. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, well, if you hit me. Uh, so you we, retreat three spaces due to your oh. after activating effect? Yep. After activating, most nimble to run away, okay. but then you're still going to hit me because shot. Because I uh, did shot. Four. Four damage plus one is five minus, minus three. three is so I need to take two. Man, this feels like math class all over again. I just totally <laughs> lost what happened. That's fine. Well, um, okay, so so here's a quick beat summary, right? Rin hit me with her most nimble strike, which is it. a decently fast attack that allows her to retreat uh, backwards. So usually she'd be able to dodge any attacks, but because I have stun guard five, I was not stunned by the three damage she dealt. And I have range 1 to 4, thanks to my shot. Okay. Now, here's the big deal, right? Rin's unique ability allows her to give me frost counters when I get hit, uh, when I take damage, right? Then, if my attack is slower than Rin's, my power gets reduced. Essentially, Rin's unique ability allows her to reduce my, the power of my next attack. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So, by hitting me first, she's actually effectively reduced my power by 3. That's oh. really good. Okay. I totally yeah. understood all of that. No, that's for the fans. <laughs> all right, so end of beat. My ghost bros move towards you. Whoopee! <laughs> all right, and this goes into my hand. So now I have access to yeah. switch grasp, which is which is a great attack, everyone, especially <laughs> against Elagor. It beats El it beats almost all of Elagor's attacks if you think about it. <laughs> Shouldn't Rin be three spaces away? Um, yeah. No, it says retreat three spaces. So that's one, two, and then three. Oh, wait, okay, wait. Oh, cool. That would put me out of range. So wait, why? Know. Wait, why? What do you mean? This is... Uh, that was three. You're here. Because I was here, yeah. and then I retreated one, two... Oh, wait, no, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that it, was Thank three. you, Kift, because I, I was going to ask that too. I was like, why has Rin not moved? <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Text on Ghastly. <laughs> um, if the opponent... Yeah. Where is Ghastly? It, it, oh, here. Yeah. The, the, the text on Ghastly is if the opponent is in the same space as a Wisp, pull them two spaces. If they are adjacent to a Wisp, pull them one space. But um, Rin was so far away from my Wisps that it didn't matter that deep. Mm. Yep. Which is no. why... Um, Ghost yeah. Bros couldn't reach her. Yep. yep. Ghost Bros can't Ghost reach. Bros. Sorry. Ghost Bros can't Ghost Bros, they failed. Too nimble. <laughs> the most nimble, uh, some might say. Uh, the most. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to learn what more of these things do. Okay. For each choice um, between you and the opponent, gain plus three. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like Ghost Bro dude here. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Ice Ninja. Not this time. Not this time. Ghost Bro is pretty cool. Yeah. He has like three weapons. He has like a, like he has a sword and a bow and arrow and what? laser eyes. That's obvious, I mean, right? Laser Those are the eyes three pretty weapons. cool. Okay. Opponent is stunned. If an opponent has three frost, they return to your supply. 
I comment. think all of Rin's attacks are just like long-winded words, so they sound like ninja techniques. Yeah. Right? Like, <laughs> this is my I most nimble strike. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. my ninja miss grasp. Like, like, she just sounds like a bunch of ninja techniques. Basically, yeah. And I think I'll try this. What? What? I, uh, so I was faster again, so I'm going to... Wait, I haven't even set my attack. I... Oh, sorry. Chill. I took... Take a chill I... pill, my friend. I took so long, I assume you were done. <laughs> Here's the thing. Most people think that just because you've played a lot of Balcon that you play fast. No, that's not true. <laughs> I'd imagine you start to, like, consider different things, and that can take longer. Mm, true. Right? Uh, that's fair. It's called Veteran's Handicap. <laughs> yeah, sure. That. Oh, we for we forgot to gain force. Thank you so much. Oh, all, right. all right. So I'm going to anti some power by spending two of my force. Uh-oh. Um, I will anti a ghost boy. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass. And I will... Um, man, I don't even know what you do. Um, I will anti for... <laughs> Rin, Rin is so fast. <laughs> hey, Rin, Rin is so fast, she resolves her entire attack before Vekel even sets his. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's there true. Go. That's true. <laughs> she is that fast. Um, do you I mean, respond, Alice? Uh, I'm going to pass. All right, we both pass then. I feel like I need like, music to cue up for when you reveal. Freezing burst. Uh-oh. Uh, Pretty much exactly what I thought you'd do. Um, so I'm going to start of beat retreat one, and then start of beat retreat nowhere because I've got nowhere to retreat. Um, so and then you have deal fun. Do damage to me. Uh, nope, because you're faster, so you're going to come towards me, and then I'm going to beat you in the face. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, start. <laughs> okay, I was confused why you got to move, but I got it. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh. Exceed, yeah. in exceed so, it's in exceed it's determined speed then before hit after yeah uh in battlecon it's all start of beat things then the faster persons before hit after then the slower then, persons before hit after then end of end beat, beat stuff yeah too much exceed for okay. me you see <laughs> too much exceed for you all right, all right so, so Marco unfortunately gets to go first. i don't get to hit i yeah. take two damage uh, so i go first right yeah and we so have to move one space Completely. or two spaces forward. And of course, getting... I'll advance. <laughs> shocking. Shocking, but not shocking at all. All right. <laughs> uh, and completely with. And then I'm going to hit you for a total of three damage because of my plus one power. Yep. And then um... I take three ice counters. There you go. Have those. That's um... no good. And that That's is it. all. That ends the beat. Yep. So I take three damage, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. not good for me. Womp womp. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. That's how that's how things in Battlecon work out. You know, sometimes um, okay, you gotta know when to hold speech. them. You gotta know when to fold them. And you gotta know, know when, when to, to curl up. And, and you gotta know you when just... to curl up in a ball and cry. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you whiff your attacks and just take a bunch of damage to the face. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. just how it goes, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so let's, um, <laughs> what what is this discard shenanicanery, Marco? <laughs> what oh says Kift? What, what are so you trying to pull to doing there? The the base, yeah. But like for this, for the purposes of this demonstration, the style should be the one that's face up because yeah. everybody knows what bases do. <laughs> yeah, obviously, everybody knows what bases do. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I definitely you know the chance. <laughs> the chances that we're going to hit, uh, that we're going to deal a lot of damage, is actually 33.3% .3 repeating, of course. Um... I, uh, let's Wait, see. I got them mixed up? Oh, I did get them mixed did up. Did you grab the wrong ones? <laughs> yeah, I grabbed the wrong ones. I'm being ones. a terrible referee right now. <laughs> this should be, this should be um, in my hand, and what should be down is... Um... Wait. It was the first thing you played, right? Yeah, under. yeah, which was um, loyal Doomblade should be loyal Doomblade should be here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> so catching that, everyone. <laughs> See, this is why I'm not used to this entire like, because because Alice did it like that, so it it, it confuses me. 
I, I always do it so that my most recently played attack is the one on the left. Oh. And my, yeah. Because in my head, it's like, ah, yes, the one nearer my, the center is the one that goes into my hand. I so, see. Yeah, in, it's, it's just an unfortunate my, result. In, in my logic, I just did it so that it goes from the center to, to the, yeah. to there. And, and then, then like off the board. And when they go off the board, then they come back to your hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Alice on this one. Mm. Yep. Yeah, see. Well, you guys can go do whatever you want. Okay. Like, <laughs> like let me live in my truth. Let me live in my 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 love. Live, my live your life, Marco. You can put those discards yeah, wherever you need them. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm actually secretly playing Mark BTO. <laughs> Marco plays wrong and blames Alice. No. Marco plays wrong and blames himself. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Tyrion can agree. The way I teach it, the current attack pushes the others outward when it goes to recycle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look. I, I know I play weird. Okay. Marco's wrong. Yeah, long... That's what this was all about. <laughs> this stream was an intervention, Marco. We want to talk to you <laughs> about your discard placement. Marco, we want to talk about your bad discard placement. Okay. Um... <laughs> I will now, um, anti, who was faster last beat? It was me. Yep. I it will, was you. I will, mm, I will place a ghost bro here. Oh. Vekel, uh, so Vekel's unique ability that? allows me, as an anti, Vekel may place a wisp from his supply or from any space oh. on the board into his space or an adjacent ah. space. Okay. That's cool. Yep, okay, so and I he has he only closer. has the three, right? He can never gain more or anything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can only have three. I mean, imagine if he had seven. Wee! <laughs> ghost. Wee! Look at my immortal ghost army. <laughs> Man, um... this this power minus feels oppressively strong. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we need a little it bit is of balance here. Pretty right. good. Um I'm going to well it's Bring that back because I'm not unteeing power again. Uh, I'm going to. Please don't I'm gonna pass. Let's see. Is Veckel's anti once per turn? I don't see a once per anti uh... limit there. I don't think no? there is. Technically, no. he can, but he can't. But their thing, both of the adjacent spaces to him are full, so there's no room to play more wisps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but they're saying that on beat one, I could have had like thirty ghosts. True. Yeah, I mean, if I you had continued, one anti of them would have been behind you. Yeah, as an anti vehicle, please. I think. Oh, yeah, there is no limit. There's huh. no limit. Interesting. Yeah, there's no limit right now. But the only, the only limit is the two spaces that are next to him. Yeah. So yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That that's his limit that he can only place up to two. And that's no, up to three, because he can place on his space. On his own, okay. yeah. So up to, up to three, depending okay. on where the wisps are. So basically, are. I can always do this current formation. <laughs> right. Got it. Good you just, catch, you just keep shifting them to wherever you're sat on the board. Yeah. So, okay, let's go. We can reveal our attacks now. Yeah. Thanks for catching that, Kif. That's a good, that's a good catch. I didn't see. I, I always assumed it was like once per thing. I have a stealthiest shot. Cool. Stealthiest shot. This is adorable. And She's got the cutest have... names. It's three. Uh, I have Ooh, ghost damn. form burst. So my uh, Laurel, zoom in on my ghost form. I got it. Reveal attacks with higher priority than you do not hit. Oh, ah, I physically, you I, physic I physically couldn't get slower than you. Yeah, I, I'm, like, I'm assuming that Rin's a fast character. <laughs> This this was the slowest I could do this turn with this combination, and even then it was still one. Uh, it was no, oh yeah, it's still one faster than. You just oh, like I knew like he was gonna play that. How did you know he was gonna play that? Um, because it gives because me... it beats everything she does. Okay, <laughs> Why got it. it. Noted. It's a, com <laughs> it's a combination of knowing the ghost form is really good against, like, because he's got um. Uh, he's got drive in the discard, uh, so his choices for a um, for a base to use are either burst or shot. I figured probably burst would be it, which means he'd need something that gave him plus one to his maximum range in okay. order to be able to hit. And so I figured yep. ghost form was a pretty close yep. thing. So start a beat. Yeah, and, oh, and, and uh, the wait. Theme, yeah. yeah, start so, a beat so, first. 
yeah, start of beat you, you nothing personal kid me, right? Ooh. And then, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you attempt to hit, but you do not. Uh, and that no, ends your. Then, uh, sorry, then... no. Actually, I have a start to beat effect, so yeah. I get to do stuff. Yep, you have a start um, to beat. All right, um, I will. This. I will, will go here. Too. Okay. I will retreat two spaces. Yep. Um. So then I failed to hit you, and because I don't hit you, I don't get my on hit retreat to spaces, which is a pain. Um. Yep. Uh, so then you hit me back for nothing. Yeah, I deal no damage. See, th that's part of my strategy as well. Like, Ghost Form deals almost no damage because it has power minus two. And, and I'm dealing I no take... damage because I have three Frost anyway. Oh, that's and why. Okay. I take one damage and the Ghost Bros move in. Yep. Oh. <laughs> the Ghost Bros close in. <laughs> Charge, my Ghost Brethren. Charge. Got it. Oh, shit. They're going to shank me. Oh. <laughs> Shank? I, no, that's... Oh, no, no swearing. This is a PG stream. <laughs> no, it PG wasn't stream. me! <laughs> Someone come slap me with the family-friendly stick. Uh, somebody... Everybody type FF in chat for family-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why Brad needs to stream more, because then he could easily get emotes, and then he could have yeah. a family-friendly family friend, family emote for subscribers. Yeah, me, absolutely. Me, me, all I've got is three super cute seventh cross waifus so as my subscriber emotes for anyone who wants to come subscribe to my channel for <laughs> free to get emotes. Thrown, <laughs> thrown out that promo. Yep. See, look, Dom. Hi, Dom. Dom's money was on me <laughs> for the first one to break the family friendly rule. Nah, it was always. I appreciate be me. that. But... Uh, what um... if secretly it was me? Yeah, FF stands for Final Fantasy, actually. Yes, it was Marco all along. <laughs> it was me, Marco. Um, uh, okay, all right. I recently started watching JoJo, so now I get. <laughs> I can't believe you held out this long, personally. Well, you have to understand, right? Like, you know, if you've listened to the podcast, I, I talk about how I found out that JoJo wasn't as over the top as people make it out to be. <laughs> Because I've watched shonen anime for years, okay. and it's not just like, it's not normie shonen anime like but it Naruto. Is pretty no, no, over I'm talking the top. About, yeah, I mean, it is pretty over the top, but like, have you watched Kuroko no Basket or I like I Shield 21? In Kuroko no Basket, like, people turn invisible while playing basketball, and then they can make full court three point shots 100% of the time. And then some people are like mimics, and they can like be sagas and like copy other people's basketball moves. Or there's yeah. another guy who jumps so high that he literally looks like he's flying. I mean, like... You just keep watching and then report back <laughs> to me if you have not found something more ridiculous than that. And I... I'm will, sorry, but... We like, will have a talk, I doubt. Marco. A talk. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, the, okay, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You That'll know, be the true intervention. Crusaders. So, yeah. The JoJo intervention. We'll see. All oh, right. No, Marco, da. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Um, so all my ghosts are here. Let's try this. Um, you, who was faster last beat? It was uh, you. Me, yes, I was but still faster. But couldn't hit you, right? Uh, I don't think I get, we gained force. Oh, we got force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I keep um, forgetting that. I'm so used to Babagon Online doing it automatically for me. I need to add the, I need to add the coding button into this. <laughs> Do it for me. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm... You look an anti. away this little box mm. I'm, i love how laura's ocd is like just kicking in on on the oh i can't take the power oh man anti for power I'm well to... i will summon the ghost bro <gasps> so oh and by the way in this order okay starting from beckel going to this is jonathan <laughs> this is wilbur and this is um clive clive melmont Specifically, because he's dead. You're right. Because you're, you're, yeah, he died. They're all right. JoJo, is what they are. Uh, so this is Jonathan. Yes. This is Joseph. Yes. This is Jotaro. <laughs> it's perfect. No, no, no. What it what it actually is is this is Ghost Bro One. This is Ghost Bro no. Two, and this is Fred. Okay. Ah, uh, that's true. Actually, no. This is Eddie Murphy's Ghost. This is Eddie <laughs> Murphy's Ghost Two, and Eddie Murphy's Ghost Three. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, Wait. Who is Andy? I will respond. Do you, do you Andy Rin? Uh, I power. 
No, no, no. I mean, I, I responded with uh, oh, yeah. Ghost uh, Bro. Yeah, I'm going to pass. The... I will respond with more power. Yes. Unlimited power. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done like, doing weird voices. I wanted to do sneak peeks at the cards, but I felt like I was going to screw okay. it up. I'm going to pass. All right, we reveal. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Ha cha cha. Ha cha cha. I'm not coming towards you. And Ninja I have a speed shard. of seven. Uh, so wow. Same. You have a speed of seven? Why is she so fast? Because well, she's, she's a ninja. ninja. And a loyal. Yeah, exactly. Don't yell uh, at so you're, not getting, you're not getting your own hit fact. Uh, oh, God. So I gain one. I, I'm loyal. <laughs> I keep getting loyal. I gain two, two frosties, right? Uh, you gain one frosties because you have soak. Oh, right. So I only so, gain one frosties. Yep. Frosties, um, the snowman. Da, 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 da. So but Actually, gonna... it's already Christmas season in my country. So, so that's great. You're going to be behind me and hit me for one damage and then go. Wait, wait, and... hey, let's not go too fast, Alice. Come on, come on. Let's, let's do this one beat, at ex <laughs> okay. one excruciating effect at a time. Right? So really drag this out. Move to any space behind the opponent and activate the end of beat effect of my unique ability. So I will go here. Fred will damage you for one. Sorry, it will make you lose one life. Ouch. Our, our, our ouch. And everybody goes here. Um, then I passively gain bonus power because you lost a life. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then activate the end of beat effect of my unique ability, but you did ninja, so I cannot, right? Then I will deal damage. I deal 3 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So that's 4, but minus 1 again, so I deal 3 damage. Oh, did you already do it? Yep, I took my 2 damage. Way ahead of you. Why two damage? You take three. Um, because you're at three, minus one, minus one, and then plus one. No, plus two. Why plus two? Lo loyal gives me power, and then I anti power. No, loyal makes you lose power. You have plus loyal one power. Each time the opponent beat. loses life during this beat, you have plus one power this beat and next beat. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, you lost so one I, life. So I lost one life, so that's plus one power, which cancels out the minus. So that's three base, because minus one plus one. And, and then, then plus... minus one, and then minus one because of frost. So that's down to two. And then plus one because I force anti power. Oh yeah, you force anti power. Yeah. Oh. Excelente. All right. Um, and then I activate my end of beat effect, and this ghost bro deals one life loss to you. Bleh. <laughs> All right. Bleh. <laughs> it's a good blah, reaction. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And then now I have plus two power during this beat because you lost two life from Ghost Bros. <sighs> yep, that's not good for me. Damn Ghost How Bros. do we make clones? I need more power. More power. There you go. Unlimited power. <laughs> power. Fight the power. Go, go, fight the power. Go, go. I don't fight know where the that's power. from. Oh, is that from um, Gurren Lagan? Yeah. Mm. I Is know that Lagan? reference. Mm, go and log on. <laughs> Mighty Dragon Asylum. Ball Z guy to Marco's Dragon Ball Z, and this is the Namek saga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mighty Asylum. I have no, I idea. Have no idea what's going on. Hashtag right, math so, is hard. <laughs> uh, do you have no idea what's going on because <laughs> what happened that last beat? So essentially what happened was Rin tried to do a um, ninja mist uh, shard, which gave me a Frosties, but uh, I was able to retaliate and my Ghost Bros helped me. Essentially, I dealt a lot of damage that. She tried Not to a do batch. a Heckin' Bamboozle. <laughs> yep. Can we please a have bamboozle. a card pair that's called a Heckin' Bamboozle? Please. <laughs> Sounds great. Put it in the game. <laughs> we'd, need to add, we'd need to add in a dog character and just give him a base of Bamboozle. And then one of <laughs> a his, style of Hecken. and then yeah, and then the yes, Hecken style, please, and a much, a much style, much so like style. much strike, much bamboozle, <laughs> very, bamboozle, very, style. very, oh. so, very, guys, so that'll be it. That'll be my first like fan made 
like fighter. I'll do it for Quick, the social someone goals. Someone submit that as a fan submitted thing. It will help it. us get more stretch goals on the Kickstarter. Yes, do it. That's true. We're so super that's close. Somebody... The last time I looked at the numbers, I think we may have unlocked the fighter one. Takeshi. I think so. Takeshi. Right? Yeah. Ooh. And we gained some events, which is awesome. Yeah, sort of thing on. Um... Yeah. All right. So yeah. got my pair down. <laughs> Total style think, too. But, but yeah, I think I think what they mean is that um, I play a bit faster than Marco does. A bit. Um, yeah. A bit. I'm sorry. No. Car, uh, Dragon Ball Kai is basic. Dragon Ball Z Kai is basically where they took Dragon Ball Z and just removed all of the filler that they had to shove in oh. in the original release of Dragon Ball Z just to make sure they didn't catch up with the manga. Okay. Yeah, and which it's... is why, which is why, like we we have this scene where I'm going, this beat will only take five seconds, and then I proceed <laughs> to take two minutes per turn. Right when Marco realizes what five seconds actually means. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, he's made a decision. Sort of. He's You've got to make a decision. Live, leave the night or live and die this way. He's All right. <laughs> um, Andy's. Who is faster? Uh, I was oh, faster again because I'm always faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I will. <laughs> Arrives at home. Talking about DBZ. All seems normal here. Yeah, it's just all anti business as usual. Again. Andy for power. <laughs> Uh oh, this is not looking good for our intrepid hero. Um, I will <laughs> summon two ghost bros. Uh, in, Funnily, uh, well, Funnily, sorry, I can only summon one. Yeah, yeah, you do what that, do you then do? I pass. Then I then pass. I'll summon the second one. Okay. <laughs> right, there you go. Fun um, Funnily enough, I do actually know the guy who says next time on Dragon Ball Z. What? Like in real life? I met Heck him. Yeah, at I met him at a convention a while ago. He voices. He also voices Ezreal in League of Legends, or used to before they remade Ezreal. Oh right, they changed him. Oh, by the way, um, Laura, can you please zoom in on our handles? It is currently fourteen nine, fourteen to Vekel, nine, nine. Uh, to Rin. Force totals are three and one, three in Vekel and one on Rin. Uh, however, Vekel might want to respond here. <sighs> Rin. Where are your? Oh, wait. Are yeah, they in the, the little the bags? bags? The little force things are in the bag? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got all it. All right. Now, here's some cool, ex cool battle con tech for all of you. <laughs> now that Rin's brought himself down to only one force, I can anti priority Ooh. and not have her respond. Therefore, <sighs> Vekel might actually just be faster this beat. This was his grand plan all along. <laughs> this, this was, was it. Actually, the long game yeah. for Marco. The I long guess, game. Uh, all right. Not neither of us can do anything. I'm faster. <gasps> Undead drive. Four verse four. Uh, yep, yeah, you are faster. No, I'm six. Yes. Okay, wait. Most nimble <sighs> strike. And we've got. I am a fast. Uh, uh, undead I got a fast car. Two, four damage. Wait, wait, please, please. Let's just do it one at a time. I'm so lost. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things happening. Okay, okay, okay. So, oh, so let's so start before... one at a time. No start of, no start of beat effects. No. Done. Yeah. Active player does this before activating. All right. So I will it advance hits. one space and leave the ghosty here. All right. And then on hit, no effect. Am I in range? Yes. On hit, no effects. <laughs> I deal how much damage? I deal three minus one plus two. That's four damage. Please take four damage right now. Ouch. When right. does Stun Guard then... come into play? Can you remind me? So... So now she's taken four damage. Rin, do you have stun guard equal to or greater than the amount of damage? You uh, yes, I do. So you I are not stun stunned. Up. There you go. Okay. So um, it would be relevant. Got it. The second player doesn't get to go if they're stunned, right? Uh, and yeah. then push the opponent one space for each damage dealt. I'm assuming this has that uh, reminder text that says or on or as far as possible if there's not enough space, right? Uh, on which one? On, on undead. So undead has oh, yeah. pushed the dam push the opponent one space for each damage dealt. Yeah, because so usually be, in battle be, con, um, it would be it wouldn't become a push four. It would be push one. It'd be push one, push one, push one, push one. 
yeah, yeah. Essentially, that's, that's what it means. That, okay, that's the way I interpret it, as opposed to well, it being. Otherwise, it might but, say this can't push X yeah. where X is equal to the damage dealt. But because yeah, it's, it's kind of like that. Push one it's per. Kinda, yeah, that makes it's, sense. It's kind of like that. No, no, but but here's the thing, right? It basically resolves as a push four, but all all text in Battlecon that says push the opponent for each damage dealt is actually coded into the game to say or as far as possible. Mm. <laughs> That's just what it means. Yeah. So it basically it says push four or push less if there's not enough space. <laughs> okay. Because in Battlecon it's relevant, right? Because in a game like Battlecon, uh, yeah, okay, obviously she's now off the board. I win. This is Soul Calibur actually. <laughs> Ring out. Um, ring out. No. Um. So wait, 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 wait. Ah. Uh, wait. Let's just let's just resolve everything first. Yeah. So each time the opponent moves into a wisp space, they lose one life. So did yep, you lose I've the two life two. already? Yep. I've All right. The two. <laughs> Down to three life. Um. And then, and then I that ends. Advance. The... I advance three oh. and take two more life because I move across your back across. Oh my gosh! You Ooh. do. <laughs> Oh, Whoa. I hit you I for... Oh, because you didn't have a choice. Okay. Yeah, I hit yeah, you. Yeah, in Battlecon, you have damage. you must always resolve. Yeah. Hit you for four damage. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of damage. Uh, Tyrankin asks where you got the two power. Uh, no, from, that, that's... Here, from the effect from my loyal. loyal. Yeah. So each time the opponent loses life during this beat, you have plus one power and this next beat, beat and next beat. And yeah. then I two ghosties hit Rin last beat. So therefore, yeah. I have plus two power. Got it. And then I, right. and I took three four spaces. damage. Yep. And then I would yeah. retreat three spaces, but I've got nowhere to, but I can't because I don't yeah. have space. And we. So that means you don't back. retreat at all then? Yep. Yeah, so in Battlecon, you have to do the entire effect or oh. none of the effect. Okay. Yep, it's an all or nothing. Oh, which is why I was mentioning that thing that says, like, this isn't push four, it's push four or as far as possible, Got it. right? Because yeah. otherwise, I wouldn't have pushed Rin. Okay. That makes sense. Mm. Ooh. Yes. And uh, the differences between this and Exceed in some ways are so, like, subtle but so important. Mm. Oh, heck yeah. So you know? in Battlecon, so the big difference between Battlecon and Exceed outside of the, you know, obviously because Exceed is a card game with decks, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Exceed's overall gameplay is more assured. So what I mean about that is, you know how Rin was basically next to me that beat, mm -hmm. right? In Exceed, there's basically like an honesty, quote unquote, statement, wherein if we're at range one, if I play an attack that has range one, it is most likely that I will hit. Okay. Right? In Battlecon, that is not the case. Sure. If you are at range one and play an attack that's only range one, you will most likely miss. What? Yes. That's, not... that's just how Battlecon works. Okay. Because a lot of characters oh, have mobility. Oh, because they can do stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So like, yeah. Because because in Battlecon you have a base like burst, right? Which activates start of beat. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Regardless of priorities. So sure, this means sure. even if I play a slower attack, I still get to do this retreat. In Exceed, there's no start of beat. So you can't have that. So so long as you're fast enough, you are assured to hit if you're at a specific range. Okay, so interesting. That, that's the key difference yeah. here. That's cool. I dig it. Well, All right, well, I, we've got I another did. like 20 minutes to kill for Marco to choose his pair. <laughs> hey, uh, come on, stop making fun of me. Never. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. If I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna mock you doing it. Uh oh, what did oh, I miss? Wait. What's your finisher? <laughs> What's your finisher? Did you ping about the ghosties? Um, speed seven. And oh, oh like the ghosties! We, we need to move the ghosties. Yeah. Oh yeah, we the need ghosties. To move the ghosties. Yeah, thank you for, thank you for that. Your we voice. should have moved the ghosties. It's all tear and Thank um, you. So does that it's... change anything for you? Ah uh, no. Um. <laughs> So it's Else one to two range, up. speed seven, power two, automatically stuns you if it hits. If you have three frosts, uh, they return to my supply, and you get minus ten priority next turn. Chat says oh, that Alice should be up to more life. What? Uh, no, 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 she's not. She's no. not. No, 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 she's not. Um, because on the beat I that I did undead, she advanced. So I pushed her two using um, undead's on damage effect, which made her go through two 
of the wisps. So that's two life loss. Yeah. But then, and then she uh, moves her most them again. nimble after activating, uh, her most nimble before activating forces her to advance three. So she yeah. advanced through two wisps again. So that's um, more damage. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. It says during this movement. Uh, so it's only. Each time the opponent moves, it was... it's oh, only during that movement. movement. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. Nice, nice, okay, nice, nice, cool. nice, nice. I'm not automatically dead if you have any kind of damage that's above <laughs> four. New yeah, characters. Our... New characters that I don't I mean, know. also, <laughs> I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I mean, all right. Uh, let's I... just reveal, please. No, no, anti. Oh, no. Oh, you're right. You can anti. What is your antis? Um, I believe you were faster, so. <laughs> we oh, okay. Uh, we well, this ghost bro's now here. Uh, <laughs> the mechanic um, criticized. No. I um, want to change that name. See. I will I pass. You will pass. Mm -hmm. I will also pass. Okay, so now we reveal. Ooh, right. okay. So um, we have a freezing so... burst. Is that a zero priority? Uh, wow, this yeah. is the slowest attack you've played this beat. And a, and a ghastly dodge, which is two. Yeah, yep. I expected a ghost form. Ooh. Not gonna lie. Yeah, well, thought, opponent with your Mark Frost cannot move this beat, so I'm getting destroyed. Oh, yes, cool. I can just kick you in the face then. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm just going to move back here okay, so that and was smash you in the face for two damage and give you another lovely little frost token. Oh my goodness. All right. And then <laughs> nothing happens on my end. I'm stunned. I don't get to move and my ghosts move. Okay, yeah. wait. So that's wait. it. Freezing makes it so that I can't move. Dodge's entire thing is that I, I move. So I do nothing. Oh, okay. So even, <laughs> okay, got it. I'll learn, so I friends. I, I'll learn. So I play. I accidentally played the perfect counter to. Um, <laughs> Where's to our? Dodge. Yeah. Can we queue up the? To... Oh no! I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> While trying, I was what trying was to play a counter to ghost form because you were like, "Oh, what? What's your? What's your finisher?" I was like, "Oh crap! He's going to. He's going to expect the finisher and ghost form to completely waste my finisher." Yeah. So I technically well, couldn't play my finisher. Uh, did you already do? I already force? gave us four. Uh, I gave you not enough force. You should have four. Yeah, oh wait, so... you have. Yeah. Wait. Because I, I gain force two. already. Uh, yeah. You because you were on two and now you're on three and I was on yeah, yeah. three and now I'm on five because I'm below seven. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um. Okay. Hmm. Don't have ghastly. Tarenkin, thank you for that link. Oh no, I'm a genius. <laughs> it's so Rin perfect. should have five. Um, why should she have five? Like yeah, life or force? Five force. Five force. I think. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I was like, look, there's many oh, things that she could have five of. Health. <laughs> five of everything. Like, all right, just like, give her five of everything. All right. Uh, Except this for is ghosts. obviously me just setting up for my finisher. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, I played. I, I set my attack first. Chat, what's up? Hello. Hey, Marco's part of the club here. Oh my Quick, gosh. Five don't 30. make fun of him anymore. No, please. <laughs> it's do. okay to make fun of me. Like, I think part of the BattleCon community is just making fun of Marco. It's true. So it's fine. I have relatively thick skin. That means we okay. need to work harder. I'm going to go with this. You know, in Filipino, the, the phrase thick-skinned is actually negative. <laughs> what? Um, I have it's to... an insult. Really? That's interesting. Yep. Oh, no, are we going to get into means... a language discussion now, Marco? No, let's, not do this now. Do this? let's not do this now. Let's not do this now. What's Rin doing? Rin's, <laughs> Rin was slower last beat, so I get to anti okay. first. Yeah. I will not do anything. Get to anti first. <laughs> yeah. um, I will also pass, so we'll move straight on to the actual hitting people in the face with big attack. Uh, there's right. the ghost Wait, what's form. This? What's this? Um, form. Switch. So, so it basically gives her more force. Oh. Yep. So oh, I'm it wasn't to... always called switch. I didn't. Yes. Know that. <laughs> it wasn't always called switch. Okay. Um. So I'm going so to do your thing. Reveal. Um. 
Yep, I'm not going you to. You have to advance three. Yep. And I will retreat. Uh, I'm never getting rid of these freaking frost counters, am I? <laughs> um, we And then my ghosties move. Boop, boop. Wait. So I attempt to hit and I whiff because she dodged me. And um, that's all that's all that is. That, that's all there is to it. That's all she's that's all she wrote. Wait, hang on. They're saying wait, isn't that a finisher? Oh it is a finisher. Oh wait, yeah, it changes shit. What is Taki mushrooms? Oh my gosh, it is a finisher. Because okay, uh... look, you have to understand I play with force. I play with um with I play with regular special action most of the time in physical. So okay. um, what what does this uh, mean? Do, do you mind if I swap this out for what I would have played if I'd actually remembered that this is automatically a finisher when I when my life is below my force? How about let's ask chat? Hey chat, should Alice get a touch move or should Alice be able to change? Chat, can I get a second chance on not Ooh. losing? I Please. say Alice gets a Don't second forget your special chance. action. Don't forget what your special action does. <laughs> Let her change it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, okay. Change it! Dom is the only one who's like, no. Hard okay, well, let's wait for it just because of the mushrooms. Uh, <laughs> anybody else? Anybody else want to weigh in on whether... Mulligan! Change it! So I would have just done Ninja Mist because to cancel on hits. Anything that has the potential to make Marco lose gets to get played. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So I'm I a think fair and, bi and totally unbiased judge. See? Because totally uh, I knew, because I knew ghost form was coming. That so I was like, I'm not attacking this turn. <laughs> He's just going to ghost form. That is a terrible idea. Fair. All right. <laughs> All right. Shh. It's like it's like you Very always unbiased, Taryn. <laughs> it's like you always dodge as soon as um, what's her name, Callista hit her. Thing. It, uh, when she she goes elemental <laughs> when uh, when she hits her finisher level because you know she's just gonna use her pretty much unstoppable but kills her if she misses finisher so you just dodge over her and she loses <laughs> so did we gain force again so now we uh, I have four you should have eight yep uh, yes. no I should put I should put one back because I gave myself <laughs> one which I then shouldn't have gained because for special action it's the fanciest oh, okay, concede sure. button. Sure. Gift. All right. uh, um... Is Marco playing the super cool looking Will Wisp, Wisp guy? Yes, he is. Yes, I am. Um, I don't have any <laughs> idea how. So, there you go. Um... Can you still switch in BCO then instead of having to finish her? Yes. yes. Switch gets played as a style, right? Yeah. yeah. So, well, Switch is a style, and except when it's not. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you totally cleared kidding. that up for me. Switch is a style, except when it's not. So basically, It gets played in a pair? This, this is a style, okay. all right? Yes. This is not. Oh, This is okay. a style. This is not. So Switch is a style so long as it's not Switch. If that makes <laughs> any sense. <laughs> but it does. So, so the moment Switch goes into my discard, that is not a style. This is style. Okay. This is not a style. I got it. It's Let me just like rules. stare at this card until I understand. No, come here. Nope, nope. Oh, it happens on oh, reveal. I'm no one. There we go. Uh, oh, return any base pair. Okay, okay. That makes sense now. Okay, got it. Oh my gosh. I know this. I'll learn, friends. I'll learn. I promise. <laughs> I should not promise that. Marco is styling. Styling. <laughs> see. <laughs> With all this talk of switch style. <laughs> Dom, thank you. Okay. Um, I'm totally missing. Yeah, that, that's my switch turn. Switch is totally separate from finishers okay. and BCO. Um, yeah. And I was faster that time, so um, hmm. you can make the reveal trigger optional. What? You can make the reveal trigger optional. I'm sorry, um, I'm reading through people that 
know all of these crazy I'll things that I don't know. I'll do power. Uh, 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 Seldiora loves Veckel's art. I will do priority. Okay. Oh, there's intense anteing happening right now, friends. Who we got? Uh, I'm going to pass. Power. We got okay. priority. All right, reveal. Uh, you have minus four priority. Shit, uh, minus five shot. priority. Oh, uh, well, this thing again. So your priority is zero. My priority <laughs> is one. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Um. So I. Uh. So I go first. I hit you for minus your two soak versus my four hit power. I hit you for two damage. I hit so I hit you on hit if you have a three or more frost. I'm stunned and you're you get stunned. all your frost back. Okay. Right? Yep. And then I get and two on damage. I get two frost back. Uh, let's take here two damage. Damage. Oh, where's that from? Hmm? I gain Yeah, I end of it I gain an extra force. I just doing that so I don't forget. Yep. Okay. Is this the finisher thing? No, no, this isn't a finisher. No, I, I take what? two damage, so I'm yep. down to six. There you go, down six. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. it. Okay. Um, this ghosty deals one to you. Yeah. And they move on. Is it because you didn't have the conditions met for that, right? Yeah, because his okay. life was greater than his um, force. available force. Right. Okay. So yeah. So, so my life into. was like five. I, I was at eight. You were at so. eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Switch Doomblade. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> Not a fan? Are you going to keep that in your back pocket for next time? or? It's a, it's a Switch Blade. You get it? Switch. I get it. I get it. I'm not going to say I approve, mm. but I do get am it. I, am, I, <laughs> am I Hawaii this? So. Konnichi Washington. Ohio. Switch Blade. You'll got it. See? All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, I shouldn't encourage him. Don't encourage me. Please. I love the grin on Marco's face as the switchblade pun sets in. <laughs> and people think my jokes suck. Whoa, whoa, there, friend. Whoa. Most important question here: Who's best girl, Rin or Anya? I've got like a soft spot for harpies, so. I gotta go Anya. Anya, best girl. I'm I'm, I'm gonna say that's the definitive answer. Best what are the other what are the other girls in this set? Feylana? I do There's like Feylana. Feylana. Feylana's my waifu. I my do dude. like her a lot. <laughs> her um, unique base is objection. Who else? I gotta I gotta look up a roster. Good thing I have those. I'm remembering okay. all the Thanks. guys. Oh, Wendy. Mm. Wendy's pretty cool. Didn't um, you and Chris played Wendy on the last stream, right, Marco? Yeah. Did you play as her? No, no I didn't play that time. Oh. It was actually Chris against Ferdinand. Oh, right. Ferdinand, Ferdinand played. played. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Did I just pronounce Ferdinand's name as Ferdinand? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cora. Cora's great. I love Cora. Um, not only oh, she right, the yeah, Cora cool looks super cool. Card. That's the tree one, right? Yeah, Sentinel yeah. of the Sands. Isn't she like I a all... cactus dryad or She's something? She's a cactus dryad. It's awesome. I I cactuses almost... are trees. I almost went Cora before I spotted Rin. Um, <laughs> also, I, Rin, is, uh, Rin is pretty cute. I was faster, so I will start by anteing some power again. Oh, no. Make up, make up for the one downside that Rin has. I will anti a ghost boy here. Oh, oh my god. Um, <laughs> Such a drama. I, I will also anti some speed. Mm. Gas, gas, gas. You've got to step on the gas tonight. Also, I like, um, I, I dig that, that magic joke from Ast over here. Does uh, Doomblade what, what kill the say? opponent instantly if they're a non black creature? I <laughs> see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> I, all right, I so I it. will spend two forces 
Did I just call them four C's? Okay. I'll four C's. Four C's. Okay, we got some Dora. little four C's here. Oh. Standard. 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 Alice, it is your turn to respond. I will pass. I will anti for power. Ooh. I have unlimited power. What's going on over here? Right. Oh, you're paying force. I okay. got it. Uh, and then I'll pass again. All right, let us reveal. <gasps> Freezing burst. Aha! I knew this was coming. Freezing <gasps> burst. Yugi boy, you have idea. Shot. Caesar! And then, like, we pose. Perfect, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, so you're faster, Rin's right? effects move first. Uh, I go faster, actually. Yeah, you are I got fast. Oh, no, no, you go faster. Sorry. Oh, you got, you, you, got have, you have speed. Wait, what is um, this? No. Oh, she has speed over here. So she has oh, a priority okay, of... Wait, no, we clash. You have a priority of four. Oh, Why do oh, I have a priority oh, of yeah. four? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I thought you took speed, but yeah, so we clash. Um, okay. We clash. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, a clash. Um, I feel like I should have no, had like, put it back a into your hand. voice it's ready oh, yeah. for that. And I didn't. Uh, goes up there. Oh, no, 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 no just top. put it there. Just, just yeah, leave just it there. Been, we clash, uh, we clash, we clash. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is going to end in a chain. Never don't counter anti-priority. That's the one thing I've learned from BCO Discord. I mean, that's, that's, that's not thing. incorrect. <laughs> Never don't counter anti-priority. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the claps and everything. That's the most important part. How else are people supposed yeah. to know you're serious? Serious. Less of a Marilyn, more of a Jackie. Serious. What? Okay. Okay. And reveal. Rob Vol. All right. So okay. you're faster. Yep. Um. So. so... Start to beat your retreat one. Uh. Yep. Bing. You, you're uh, paying me four. for how much? Uh, hitting you for four damage. Yikes. I now have five. <laughs> but wait, there's That's a more. Lot of ice. I am not stunned, right? So I take four damage. I am down to two life. Yeah. <laughs> Here's where it goes. Caesar! Before activating, I may remove a whisper um... reward. If you did, move to its space and gain plus one power. Mm. Except... That's on reveal. It's already triggered. Yeah. I had uh, two at the start, so it doesn't matter. I was going to ask that. So it but... doesn't matter if I give you more frost? Yeah, so the reveal trigger's already happened. So it basically says, reveal if the opponent has three or more frost, they can't move. So yeah. during reveal, I had two frost. Therefore, the effect fizzles and nothing happens. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. It's not a passive effect. <laughs> like, it's not like, it's not like a permanent thing for the whole beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a reveal effect. There's a specific trigger for it. So it, it doesn't trigger this beat. Therefore, Yugi Boy, I will now activate my before activating <laughs> effect that allows me to remove Wisp Junior from the board, moving to this that exact was location. Sorry, Joseph. You allows me Joseph. to remove my dead. Was, that can't be Joseph. Joseph's not dead. <laughs> Jonathan. Okay, fine. Jonathan. There you go. Allows me <laughs> so to remove Joseph from and the get board. Plus one power. And gives me plus one power closing. for a total of power six. So I you take hit me minus for five. One. That's it. <laughs> this is this is just Oops. so weird. Okay, <laughs> um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. It's not yet over. <laughs> S Dox knows. Know. See, just say Jotaro because he's the best anyway. He totally is. Jotaro I mean, is best. They're Jotaro. all Jojo, right? <laughs> he's the best. Okay, so Jotaro. we gain. Plus one, plus, plus one, plus yeah, I, I did plus one twice, so it's plus okay. two. Uh, do 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 do. I can't tell. Do, do, so do, this do. is what's great about that. I can't tell if this is a really <sighs> good close game or if like someone's throwing the game, and I have no idea. I, I, I feel really it's pretty close. close. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty close. Okay. Yeah. I think I think I've done a fairly good job of not. Getting... Oh, and the ghosties move, I forgot. Oh, Completely ghosties. Crushed. Ghost bros. 
Okay. Do these move uh, back over here? Yeah, they okay. do. <laughs> Don't be so sad about it. What do you mean? I'm not sad. I'm just working on three hours. <laughs> that sounds like a you is problem, it... Marco. Yeah, it is a me problem. So leave me alone. Leave Let's me see. alone. My Nobody's throwing. It's true. Actually, it's nobody's true. throwing because none of us are EX characters, and throw is an EX base. Oh, um... okay, got it. <laughs> okay. This is a conundrum of multiple levels. Um... Ghost bros equal best bros. It's true. Mm... Tyrankin on level 99 stream when? Yeah, yeah, Tyrankin. Yeah, Daniel should be on stream at some point. Yeah. Uh, he has been doing a good amount of streaming of BCO, though. So, if you all want to see a little bit uh, more more insight into Tyrankin and how he crafts his puns, go ahead and check out that stream. <laughs> Obviously, because puns are the only thing that I mean, matters. you can also watch the game, but really, it's all about the puns. <laughs> Daniel is on stream. He's running Veckel. Uh... I hate all of you. So many Daniels. Simultaneously. Simultaneously, I love, I love all of you. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm the master of puns here. Whoa. Whoa. That is a bold whoa. statement. Bold statement. Yeah, I know, statement. but it's not wrong. Puns are 80% yes. of my play style. Um, this has not faster. been confirmed. So what are you doing? Will... Yeah, you were faster. I will pass. <gasps> pass? Why, why do you have so much more force than me? You're because... so forceful, Alice. <laughs> You're so forceful! <laughs> How did your All ghost right. bros get so far away from you? So I... Because one of them was next to Rin, and the other one I antied was me. Okay. All right. When, was... he spawned, when he spawned behind him and then swapped with the one that was near me. Got it. Yeah. Got All right. So, anti, you pass. Of course, I have to place a ghost boy. You gotta. Yeah. He's much more unique than the other guy. Um... Then I'll pass again. Um, I will move this here. Man, this Veckel's interesting. Like, you can just move your ghost boys around. Can you pass again? Uh, yep, I'm going to pass again. So All sneaky. right, let's reveal the suspense. The suspense! Will there be damage? <laughs> no. No, there will not be. <laughs> no. um, so you're minus faster, so I get yeah. to go first. You have a faster car. <laughs> Get in that car and go. I'll go over here. Uh, okay, so I must move. So you. Oh must... wait, it doesn't matter because <laughs> move to any space behind an opponent. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I I have to always end up here. Yeah. Yep. So you're going to end up there, regardless. Yep. And then activate my ghost movement. <laughs> These aren't cars, then... they're not using drive. Ha! Ah. This guy. <sighs> this guy. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, someone. Uh, someone banned me, to rank in. Alright, let's see. Oh. Will of the Wisps. Right, just... Seldiora, here you go. Um, oh. the Wisps. Oh, and then you lose one life. Not that it matters. Uh, oh, wait, it does matter, because I get wait. extra power. Why do I lose one life? Because of my end of beat effect. Yeah. It triggers twice. There's a wisp in your space, right? Why does it, why does it trigger twice? Because mm. loyal, loyal triggers it. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that kills me. Well, no, 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 life loss doesn't life kill Life loss doesn't kill you, right? Oh, life loss doesn't kill? Okay, cool. I knew <laughs> that! Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I knew it. And then we both gain two force, right? Uh, yes. Okay, um... <laughs> Keldroth, I am in physical pain. <laughs> Your affirmation of my success is appreciated. That's what Tarenkin's going for. He's going for, most of the time when he watches me stream, he'll have me muted. Because why not, right? No, because he's at work. But he'll still type puns in response to chat, and I swear he just lives for, like, my eye roll <laughs> in reaction to his puns. Yep. He much. knows when I get to it because I can't handle life anymore when it happens. <laughs> I can't handle life. <laughs> this is mostly, yeah. 
Oh my gosh. All right. Let's go, Alice. All right. Try this again, friends. This time you actually have to damage your opponent. You know that, right? That's so, like... welcome to BattleCon, where three out of four beats involve people not hitting each other. All right. You win the game when you you get them to zero life. So, Ironically, you're real close. BattleCon, you're BattleCon real close. Is actually about hitting the opponent. It's about doing setups. Got it. And all of that fancy jazz. Right. Which um... which is ironic since it's called BattleCon, but half the members. <laughs> I dodge. It's just no, setup. I con. dodge. Yeah. I I'm... burst. Well, I burst. All right. I'm going to Labor boost my speed. I'm very excited. <laughs> I want everyone to have fun and also suffer in the tortured pain I of and puns. for power. <laughs> oh, I pass. Mm. Ah. Okay, let's reveal. Oh man, Dom, I love that joke. We'll get to it. We have intense battling going on though. Ooh, Dom. So you have four mm. priority. Still I have five. Burst. Yeah, I'm faster. <laughs> Ghost form drive. <gasps> Ghost form is so good. Whoa. Because it's like, if I'm faster, I get to stun you. And if I'm slower, you don't hit me. Wait, oh. do you hit her though? Wait, reveal. Yeah. Um... Move to the nearest space behind the opponent. There is no nearest space. So she yep. gets to retreat one or two. And... Yeah, so retreat one or two, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then you go first and hit me. Before activating, I will move towards here oh, and man. hit you for <sighs> two damage. Three, actually, because I have the extra power from yeah. Royal last beat. Whoosh! Ah, oh, damn. Super I was close. Oh, man. I was super expecting was real close. the Doomblade. Oh, expecting... the Doomblade. I was expecting Ghost Form Doomblade, because then mm. that would give you Soak 2. That's why uh -huh. I went with Stealthiest for the Ignore Soak. I see. Um, That's not a bad play, actually. So my plan... Okay, so... Uh, so yeah, so my plan was basically just to try and clash you out. Yeah, you were trying to parry my ghost form, right? Like, yeah. A variety That's... of ghost forms. And I was thinking to myself, <laughs> which ghost form would she expect the least? So I was like, the <laughs> fastest ghost form, of course! <laughs> so I went for the fastest ghost form. But when you anti priority... I was like, okay, maybe she's trying to go fast. So I did an anti-priority <laughs> back. So, yeah, I mean, like, at the end of the day. Uh, Ooh, GG, such well, a close game. Was... This that is the closest game I've seen. <laughs> I, I'm like, my heart is, oh, no. I'm sorry. I just read Dierkin's <laughs> chat. She didn't stand oh. a ghost of a chance. No, okay, let me do so... it. Let me Laura, do what you want to do is you want to right click on Tarankin's name in chat and go ahead and, and just ban. Ban. click ban. Yeah, I, I thanks. Yeah. I was looking for the button this whole time. I just couldn't get rid of him. Yeah, just Wait, just right, right, right click, right click the name and ban him. Just get, just um, get I need to, I need to get into my Kaiba <laughs> voice. <laughs> you see, Yugi, you didn't stand a ghost of a chance. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's not so a good Kaiba impression. Okay, so they seem really cool. I'm, I'm still, I, I, I'm happy. I'm happy with almost beating Marco. That's pretty. That's oh, that was such a great with. game. It was so close. I love it. It's a ah games of BattleCon <laughs> that like are super close, are super fun. And oh, you definitely. know, Alice, you did great. Laura, you did great. Thank you for hosting. I clicked things. <laughs> I no, I legit like felt like I actually learned. So this was helpful. Oh, really? Okay, so, um, Laura, is it okay if we take, like, five to, like, five minutes to just answer some questions in chat Absolutely. if they have any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So okay. you can now ask me and Alice about our respective fighters, how we feel about them, you know, ask me about Veckel, ask Alice about Rin, or maybe ask me about Rin and ask Alice about Veckel, because <laughs> Alice would know uh, how it feels like to fight Ghosty Blade Boy. Yeah. Um, Total Havoc. I was looking for the ban button and just couldn't hit it. Oh boy, am I getting flashbacks. <laughs> um, I learned that Veckel is flexible and Rin is horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, horrifying in what sense? Um, just because the ridiculous amount of speed she has, um, pretty much the only thing that stopped me from just finishing you with a deep freeze, like a turn earlier when you did your uh, loyal or whatever, uh, basically the only thing that stopped me from ending it earlier with deep freeze was the ghost form. absolute fear of ghost form just that <laughs> dodge anything 
or just avoid anything that's faster than you. That plus dodge means I basically have to try. If you, as long as you don't use both of them in a row, you've always got an auto dodge option available to you. Yeah, one of the two, as long as you don't use them back to back and put them both in the near Bob. Um, yeah, she's... So it's really just super bru- a super brutal combo that was pretty much the perfect counter to. I mean, he basically his entire kit is a counter to Rin. Like Rin wants to, re- Rin wants to reduce his power to nothing. He just doesn't care because he doesn't use power. He uses his wispy boys to deal damage. I yeah. want to go faster than you. You have an auto dodge that when I'm faster than you. So that's also out of the window. Yeah, I think um, I think what ended up being the case was like I was playing Veckel and. Actually, I basically never touched like two of my styles <laughs> because <laughs> they both essentially turned off because of Rin's cards. Mm. So, um, like, like it might seem like a hard counter or something, but I just ended up playing the cards that were very good in the specific matchup. Like, because mm. as I think the main problem that we have to understand is that Ghost Form is pretty good against Rin, but it also deals no damage like at all. It's like even worse than yeah. Implosion in terms of stats. <laughs> So I mean, like, ich, like at the end of the day, like I think you should have just like not cared about Ghost Form too much because mm-hmm. by playing around it, I think it just ended up like being worse off for both of us. Oh, but for you, like on <laughs> me, on my hand, like when I was fighting Rin, I was like, man. So if she, you're telling me that if I go first on a beat and then she strikes me, not only do I trade down on this beat, next for the next attack, I have minus five power. <laughs> so I can't deal any damage whatsoever, and I have to hit. Like, the thing about it is that the moment it's... I have, like, four or five frost, right? Like, I can't yeah. dodge to get back power. I have to yeah. hit you with something yeah. and you have purposely to hit... take a loss. Yeah, you have to sacrifice something. And, the well, the thing is, she can never give you far... In fact, I don't think she... Yeah, she... it's physically impossible for her to give you... Uh... Oh, no, yeah, if... Uh, wait, where's strike? She can do five, right? Yeah, she, she can give could, five. She, yeah, she can just barely. Strike. If she does shattering. Oh, uh, shattering, shattering strike? Shat- shattering strike also works because that's a zero on the power. But yeah, like, yeah. Um, unless you do switch strike or shattering strike, it's impossible to give you five at once. And even then, on... you have to boost power to do it. Yeah, but but like on the average, you. A person's attack is three damage, right? So all you actually need to give is three, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, So let's answer some questions. Um, Here we go. Two on two asks, who would they have trouble with or who might they counter? I feel like uh, on on my end, Vekel would be very good against characters who are generally uh, slow and generally have not a lot of power. Uh, Vekel's big problem is that he's kind of slow and has Mm -hmm. almost zero defenses. So I if see, he like um, outside of Doomblade, of course, because Doomblade is just amazing. Yeah, like, this is just Doom... a better strike. Yeah, he's got Doomblade. He's got. Um, I saw some Ghostly, other. Ghostly, that's it. Ghostly Doomblade is the only the only thing. Yeah, Ghastly. Right? Ga- yeah, so he's got Ghastly, Ghastly sorry. and Doomblade. Plus he's got. Ghostly. A... Plus he's got a bit of stun guard on like shot and shot obviously... and strike. Yeah, a lot of stun guard on yeah. strike, and you can always and you've always got stuff like. Um... Loyal to move directly behind them with a strike. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got so I, the main got, point, I guess, here uh, is which that which one was it? Um, was what? it Gathly? Uh, no, you've got Haunted to move. Move. So yeah. between so between Haunted movement and um, so between Loyal movement and Haunted movement, the start the bases you do have the um stun god on uh you can move to me very easily it's very hard to yeah. get out of range yeah um, as Rin, when you right? when you strike i mean as anyone really there's not it's just in general it's hard between loyal and the other one and get uh, yeah. and uh yeah and haunted. haunted it's really hard to escape uh so if he so you can't you can't stun him out of strike and you can't escape out of range of strike unless you dodge yeah. over him. That's um, that's a good point. But I guess the main point here is that 
I, like so... th those are the those are the only things that could counter that kind of thing. Like if the opponent mm -hmm. just has above average priority, like Hikaru or something, and if they deal damage just like seven or whatever, I can never reach seven oh, damage. Yeah. Like. Yeah, oh, yeah, like that. My point is, like, if you're an actually good stat brawler, Vekko might yeah, have a problem people, with it. People, because he has zero fun. control effects, and all he does is brawl for a tactician. Yeah. He's a tactician brawler, and yeah. like the but only say, reason I feel like Rin is like a manageable thing is because her damage is pretty low. He should, he's definitely good against fast but weak hitting people who rely on stunning. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. People... he's he's most good against that, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, he might also be very good against very slow people, like very, very slow people, like juggernauts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Um, like he might be good there because he can, that's when he can start doing stuff like un, um, undead or even doing, what do you call that? Ghastly to push and pull them and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, who do you think Rin would do great against? Um, I think Rin would do good against. People who people who don't rely are people who probably pretty fast people because she has a lot of speed to just outspeed most people who rely on yeah. speed. Um, only like the really super fast characters like Elemental Form and Palista are the only kinds of people who would be likely able to consistently outspeed Rin. Yeah. Um, so I feel like people like that who she can bully, who she can outspeed, hit for a few damage and stun, and then the few times that they do actually manage to hit back, by then she's managed to ping them with two or three hits and build up the frozen markers so that when they do finally land a hit, it just does it nothing, nothing and she shrugs it off. Yeah, and I feel like she might also... Continue. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought you were done. I don't know. You're done? Yeah, I'm done now. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no like problem. Discord, Discord went silent on me, and I was like, "Oh, she's done." Um, no. yeah, she might also do really good against Juggernaut. She has a lot of good anti-Juggernaut tech, like, like for example, Stealthiest uh, removes stun. soak. Yeah, and she has auto stuns. Yeah, and she... also auto stuns, all really. Good. And if she's faster, she reduces their power, right? So she can trade even against them, right? So <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a big deal. Um, let's mm. see. Tyrankin says, "I'm actually surprised Rin isn't outright degenerative." If she is, of course, play setting shall straighten her out. I feel like she might cause problems for like characters with not a lot of um defensive options. Um mm. but man, she's teetering on the edge, and if you let her slide down, you're looking at not doing damage for two to three. Yeah, like that was really oppressive, in my opinion. Mm. If she snowballs, it's thematic. I hate you. I I hate that. I'm not reading that anymore. <laughs> Why'd you read it? Um <laughs> Yeah, I think Rain has to fear ghost form, not because of the damage, but because you get to dump your counters. Exactly. I think that's the big deal. Mm. Uh, and that means she loses her control over the match. Uh, she's flaky. Okay, yeah, does anybody have any more questions? Is is there also a Haunter and Gengar there style? There really should be a Gengar. Now? Oh, Just, no. Can we not? <laughs> Poor Demetrius. Uh, there's New still BC time to change nice the name on some of these cards. New Demetrius is not bad. Like, like, like <laughs> updated Dev Remastered Demetrius is uh, sorry, uh, updated Unleashed Demetrius is not bad. Like, the changes I'm, to him are not bad. I'm looking forward to Unleashed, updated Irilandra Diamorella. Can we is. all try to pronounce that name? Irilandra Diamorella. Irilandra Diamorella. How about you, Laura? Can you do it, Laura? Can you? Irilandra Diamorella? Hey! Uh, you're close, you're close, you're close. Not bad. I got Good it! <laughs> Good no, enough, maybe this enough. maybe Discord like just cut off. Who designed these characters? Okay, so I actually do not know who designed these characters. Hmm. I know for a lot of the other people. Um, I know Rin uh, was an um, Ice Ninja sent by. Hmm. Is Wanderers all fan created character? Yeah. Oh, cool. It is. I didn't know that. Um, Veckel, I know Veckel's creator has actually been in like the comments of Kickstarter. I think. I feel like I've seen that pop up. Somebody like put it as as yeah. their name. Um, Get, if somebody knows, please tell us in the chat. Yeah, like very important. We want to highlight these cool people who brought <laughs> us these characters. Oh, Astox, not all get to. Know. Yes, you do. There is a Google Sheets forum with all of the changes that's, that's publicly available to everyone for everyone to see. <laughs> um, if you want, I will link it to you in the chat. Um, somebody please link them. Oh God. To the thing. To, uh -oh. to the to the atrocious spreadsheet uh -oh. that we have. 
D D has a clip. That's probably uh, horrific. Someone delete that. <laughs> Someone delete quick, that. I'm not acknowledging quick, it. <laughs> quick, Laura, time him. Quick, Laura, time him out. Then it will erase all of his chat. <laughs> just time it. Just Worth. time him. Time him out. He'll be able to come back and talk eventually. <laughs> um, it's just a tenth ban for Tyrion. But that that way we don't have to see his stuff for the rest of the stream, and it'll be perfect. Oh, Rin was created by Sean D on BGG. Thank you, you so much. Oh, no. Thank you, Arp. <laughs> Rin and Dravel. Is Rin Dravel's sister? I think Rin is related to one of the other characters. It might be Dravel. I'm not sure. Um, at, some, yeah. at some point, I should try to sneak my uh, Spider Girl character into Battlecom. <laughs> Spider Girl? What do you mean? You mean it's a oh, Gesselheimian? It's. <laughs> Fang boy. Yes. Fang girl? <laughs> got it. She got fang girl. <laughs> he got there eventually. <laughs> yeah. Rin is Voko's fangirl. I was going to say, I thought that she was yeah, a, there you go. a fangirl for something, but. Yeah, yeah. Rin is Voko's fangirl. Yeah, that's right. I forget. Yeah, so I'm is Tannis. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the redone, um, uh, to the redone Iria Land Landra Morella because she is. She has always been my favorite character since I started the game, um, and I was always uh, like, I, I started looking through the things. I was like, oh, 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 cool, magical girl, mainly yes. her forever. Easy sell, yeah. um, easy, easy sell. sell, magical girl. I've got, uh, you know, Laura, you know the um, the music from the first League of Legends trailer that they did for um, the Star, Star Guardians. Guardians? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I basically put on that video on repeat whenever I play Iria Landra Di Morella <laughs> because nice. it's oh her theme God. song. Good, good. I dig it. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so somebody asked, what do the frost tokens do? So when Rin damages someone, she gives them frost. And then for each frost that the opponent has, they have minus one power on their next attack. Um, and dodging okay. or missing doesn't make it work because you only get to purge them if you hit. Um... Yeah, it's generally good for people to have a wide access to priorities, but illus ill illusory getting negative priority is actually really good because um, it's like the reverse of ghost form. If Demetra, uh, sorry, it's basically like ghost form. If the opponent's faster than you, they miss. Hmm. Um, uh, oh, I have a question. Any characters, promos, or otherwise not in the collection? Uh, there's a few promos that aren't, but they're mostly ones that level ninety nine doesn't have the rights to reprint like the ones that they've been giving out in the previous, previous yeah uh, i was gonna i was gonna say the previous seasons of the organized play where they're like yeah let's use so that would these be like the play as a season as red horizon characters to... red horizon yeah. characters uh like bruce lee things like that like yeah. you basically get a limited time to have the mm. rights to them um or print new stuff then with them. there's a the as far, I mean, and some and some of those promos are getting re. I think I saw that they're getting reprinted. Like, uh, is it Tam Tadashi Tamashi, the guy with a million weapon cards? Takeshi Takeshi Takeshi. Takeshi that's I knew Takeshi. I knew I knew it started with Ta and ended with Shi. I couldn't remember that middle syllable. Yeah, Takeshi is Fabio's. Uh, character like each of the artists yeah. actually have their own character in battle <laughs> they're just not canon Except yet for me. Does Takeshi Laura? Kamikaze yeah oh yeah Laura do you have a character no like a character you made someday oh, I'm gonna Laura make put she's not a battle con physical <laughs> artist she's a <laughs> battle con online artist I'm different, make a... different. <laughs> hey I'm getting a set Laura... of bases in battle con yeah, Laura, Laura, yeah, yeah. I get to do the visceral Laura, bases <laughs> I'm gonna make Laura, if you... a dog. Uh, character. That's it's gonna be Aww. me just as Dog and my special. <laughs> hey Laura, sorry. Can you zoom in on Ninja Man for Daniel? On Ninja Man. Ninja Mist. Oh, Ninja style. Mist. The blue, the blue rim style. There you are. I thought you said Ninja <laughs> Man. No. Oh. <laughs> Ninja Man, of course. Uh, Yazik um... asks how many characters are fan made. All of Wanderers. So that's ten new characters, right? All of yep. Wanderers. Uh, there's a couple of. Previous Tatsumi, by... Sagas, Enderbite, Eustace. I believe uh, Tannis is one. Tannis. No, 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 no. Tannis is original. Oh, yeah. Tannis. Tannis is original. Um... <laughs> what else am I missing? <laughs> That's Darius, of course, Darius. 
Fun fact, like Tatsumi and Darius are actually based on a real-life couple. So Tatsumi is <laughs> based on Trish, and um, Darius is based on Jared, I think. And oh, that's that why they're dating cool. in the lore. In the lore, they're boyfriend-girlfriend, because <laughs> the, the people they're based on are married. Adorable. Now, now they just need to never break up, or it'll end up being like... Um... Like that guy who managed to get a the Spider Man thing put into yeah oh no that, oh that's so sad okay wait uh, uh, yeah okay so the okay. the promos <laughs> that we can reprint will be getting reprinted if we hit all the social yeah. goals those are the ones yeah. that like we can do and then they'll be they're all tournament legal, legal yes yeah mm. yeah as um... uh, so yeah so like um, Kashi's getting some uh, game reprinted I think other than that there I know there's at least three characters which are just one-off promos in the store which i don't believe i've seen as part of this kickstarter um rarity seeker uh and i can't remember the other two there's rarity seeker and there's two others that were like one-off battlecom promos i've got all three of them but i can't remember the other two i think it was um Quite, I think it was like a buff woman in armor was the second. I can't remember the third. Hmm. Um, um, wait, wait, wait. What were we talking about? Yeah. Sorry, I was reading chat. I got lost. Jin and Marjoram. That's it, Jin and Marjoram. That's it. Oh, okay. That I Jin totally from... didn't. That was all chat. That was Arm. That was... Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. and Dom yeah, there. Was... Jin and I should have taken for... credit. Yeah. Jin, yeah. Jin from Temporal Odyssey, which is sat right over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, great. It. Oh, level 99 games, shilling. Wait, um, somebody asked the question, why does such a fast style need stun immunity? I think this is a very important thing to talk about, right? Um, um, so I, I think I can probably answer that because I know there's at least some, there's some effect in the game where it rely, where there are effects that res revolve around you managing to stun your opponent. Um, yeah. like things that will only activate if you stun them, for example. Um, it's for those cases because you're not going to be dealing basically any damage when you use Ninja Mist. So it's basically it's basically making sure they can't do on hit stuff, they can't do on stun stuff. Um, and that's the and that's what you basically sac that's what you gain in exchange for sacrificing the fact that you're going to be dealing basically no damage mm, yeah i uh, yeah so there, there's that right and there's also a bunch of effects that basically say become active player and like you know stun the nearest opponent and stuff yeah true i think that... uh, one of uh name berman? is now i wasn't thinking berman i was thinking uh what's her name the one who gets the counters uh, magdalena in... magdalena that's it uh, no no sorry not She's the, the dragon. Mimili, 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 yeah, Mimili. Mimili has the ability yeah. to just become the active player, so stuff like yeah. that. You can so does Berman, yeah. Still hit back with uh, Ninja Mist. Yeah. Um. Uh, so, but but in reality, those are niche cases. the The real answer to the question, Kurtleet, is that it's redundancy. You know, being fast and having defense is better than just being fast, mm -hmm. right? That's fair. So at the end, like, sure, it's less good on that style, but you still have a stun immune style if that ever matters. And that's important. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, some promos have cool mechanics, though. Can they not reskin them? I, mm, we're not sure about this, um, but it has happened. Promos have been reskinned into actual characters before. If you're, mm. if you're wondering, Tannis is one, um, and Voco is one. Voco was actually based on a promo named Danny the Sinner. <laughs> and Tannis was actually based on a promo. I forget her name. She was a puppet master. In the original War Kickstarter, there were like five characters that had like limited run prints where there's only like 15 copies of each of them, right? <laughs> and there was a puppet master character in there who is basically the prototype for Tannis. And then Danny is, of course, just one of the War promos from the Kickstarter. Um, Robert clone promo when already happened. His name is Raedric. He's the Mage Wars... Um, blacksmith dwarf character um i'd still just really love it if eventually they would let us have a physical version of seven i know it's not likely to happen because it was like part of her thing on 
part of her thing as a stretch goal for BattleCon yeah. Online was that she was a BattleCon Online yeah. exclusive one, but it'd still be just like, I want Physical 7. I want to be able to yeah. place Physical 7 against my friends in at like events that I run, because 7 is probably my second favorite character just behind Iria Landrodaya Morella. Yeah, 7 is cute. She's adorable. <laughs> and she's also horrifying. Ben's there. She's adorable. Yeah. Up, <laughs> oh, here. Oh, there you go. It's Ad... Adiron Dax, created by Brad Seif. Yeah, it was made by Laura. Um, that was actually pretty cool. Why do you hate my originals? What do you mean hate your original? Who do, who do I hate? <laughs> I don't hate any BattleCon character. I just suck with them. There's a difference. Um, Kift asks, tournament legal Robert clone when? Um, here's the thing. Probably at some point, like if Brad ever decides to give me the chance to make a character, I'll probably put him in. Um, but the real answer to that is it would require a lot of nerves, a lot of nerves, a lot of nerves, a lot of nerves. <laughs> Thank you for catching that, Tiran Ken. And if Laura ever gets to put in her, put in a character, like, uh, gets her own, like, uh, artist, uh, personal artist character, I'm just going to make puppy eyes at her until she puts in my spider girl character. <laughs> <laughs> Or or do what um do what Josh did for for Gar, <laughs> do what Josh did for Gar. Oh my gosh, Josh talked what? about this on the podcast. So what Gar is actually made by Josh, right? <laughs> uh, sorry, were you saying something? Sorry, the Discord has some lag. Oh no, I laughed. Go go ahead. Yeah, so Josh, Josh made Gar, and Gar is one of the unleashed characters, right? We might have to feature her at some point. Um, but actually, Josh just made Gar without Brad's permission. <laughs> Josh was just like, I'll make this character and balance her and get the art for everything and all that stuff. And then at some point, Josh just came up to Brad and went, hey, this is done. We could put this in. And Brad's like, what? Huh? 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 And then like after that, he was just like, you know what? Okay, fine. We have space. So okay, I guess so... we should just all we should just all make full characters, pay no commento <laughs> to make the art. And yeah, like, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did Oriana get Oriana get tweaked at all? She was so exploitable. Yes, please check the document. She should have been tweaked. I mean, all, all you technically need is one piece of art for um, seventeen uh, for, cards. Yeah, just fifteen cards. Like you don't need you don't need to get all of the unique bases done like uh, Gar got. Yeah, um, Gar is yeah, so just, pretty. For the, yes. low, for the low, low price of one piece of art, you too can have your own character. <laughs> if you, <laughs> and, you know, if, balancing. If, if, you, if you work for level 99 and bug Brad enough. Yeah. Or, I think, yeah. I think if like he that. gets, like, he gets first dibs <laughs> on all of those things, so it's fine. If, if, we get, if, if we get an extra pass on it, though, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Turn Zach into a real boy. Hashtag Zach is a real boy. Let's go. <laughs> oh god that reminds me of um i once on a kickstarter they had a as one of the stretch goals they had a mini boss that was a uh spider character um like up half dark elf lower half giant spider and she's like a draw she's like a yeah. weird half draw a, a drider um, oh she's a drider there you go and um and so they had this Strider character, and I was like, oh, are they going to get a Dark Hero card to let you play the, to actually play them instead of just fighting against them? And they were like, no. And I was like, but they were like, no, she's too evil. I'm like, what? but there's all these characters that are far more evil that all got Dark Hero cards. And eventually they just admitted they just didn't like spiders, and I created a <laughs> petition. <laughs> I created a peti I created an online petition and I got signatures and they were like, fine, if you get a hundred signatures, we will give this character a dark hero card and I reached it within minutes. And you got it? Did you guys get it? Uh well, I will get it when the game actually arrives. It's been Heck almost yes. three years since it funded and over oh. six months since any kind of update on the production. And oh, I unfortunate. Think I think the last update on, on production was them basically saying, yeah, all of our updates on how far along the production's coming were all lies. We're actually only just starting, I oh, believe. Classy. 
Oh no, this is yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, good thing though, backers, if you're backing BattleCon Unleashed, we have a track record for you know production and keeping you yeah. all updated. Though sometimes uh, production mishaps happen, but that's okay. We're very honest yeah. about it. Yeah. Um, well, is the next set secretly a bunch? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not gonna lie. We don't lie. Uh, we just ignore our problems. <laughs> just kidding. That's not real. <laughs> no, no, that's not real. That's me as a personal person, not level ninety nine. Um, is the next set secretly a bunch of reskinned old promos and you can't tell us? No, that's wrong. It's actually a JoJo set. You just didn't know. Um, yeah, that's a Ninja Division for you. They dump development. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Any questions for the characters related to the Kickstarter um, before we get too off track? Because <laughs> we might be ending. We'll, we, we will be ending in the 10 minutes because uh, it will be the two hour mark. Ora, ora, ora. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, we know too much about the state of production. Just yeah. shut up and give us the cards when they're done, Brad. Okay, number one, Kurt, Brad's not here, okay? So you're talking to no one. Number two, uh, yeah, okay, that's fair. So how hype is the season three JoJo? Who said anything about the season three JoJo set? What? I've said nothing about that. That's not real. What's that? What are you talking about? We always deliver, even if we move to a different city twice between the end. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Thiago, Thiago understands. All right, so any more questions, please? Any more questions about the Kickstarter, the characters? Um, well, maybe TTS mods? Direct, yeah, TTS mods, or I guess for Laura, or for Alice, or for me. Um, though usually people don't really ask me questions on stream anymore. They just <laughs> type in the YouTube comments how bad I am. Fair Is level uh, 99 hiring? Uh, no. <laughs> no, if, I don't it, know if, if they, they are, are. If they are, I have first dibs on that position. <laughs> If they are, they should hire me. <laughs> oh, where's Brad's hat? Oh, okay. So, okay. Um, uh, I can't believe you wait. brought this up. TTS this mod release in beta or public? These characters uh, this, are in the... the this is uh, the beta version we're okay. playing at the moment. This is the what? This is the playtest version that uh, the playtesters who signed the NDA get access to. Um... Unless Brad decides to pull an exceed and say just have at it, everyone. I think because I think he did that eventually with uh, exceed season two. He yeah. basically unleashed that mod on the public. Um, so at you're saying, point. but this one's called BattleCon Unleashed, so it will happen, right? That's what you're saying. I make no promises. All right, it's Brad's hat the brawler. Yes. Um, what's the dealio? <laughs> you're the dealio. I'm just answering questions yeah, here. that's fine. Oh, it's good. Reveal, Reveal for, for the 350,000 character. Ah, uh, we don't get the say in that. I'm sorry. I mean, I know who it is. They I know mean, who it is. But I can't. make the graphics. So I don't. I mean, I, oh, you I don't? Mean, you don't? You, you I should. Prob I probably could know if I just went through the messages on the company Discord, but exactly. I, don't, I don't pay enough attention. We only need, <laughs> we only need like $3,600, and then the next... Fighter will be revealed. Like, even even though I implemented all of these characters into the mod, I still have no idea what they are. Because partially because there's what seventeen, twenty-seven, thirty-seven, forty-seven, fifty-seven, sixty-five, almost a hundred characters in this yes. mod. Keepers. Um. So not only that, but just the fact that I don't pay attention to what cards I actually add into the game. I just add in what, like Brad. Brad <laughs> throws files at me, and I put them in the game. Yeah, I, to, I understand. I try to vaguely understand them enough to put things where they need to go, but beyond that, I don't have the time to also just absorb all the information from all the cards <laughs> I'm adding in. Sadly, I am burdened with the most of the characters. Of course. <laughs> okay. Um. Are there any plans for new white boxes in the future or no? I don't know what white boxes means. Probably extended. Hmm. Is my oh, guess. Oh, like Warren Dev like extended. extended editions. Yeah, I'm not. We're not sure about that. Um, the thing about BattleCon is that this is like <laughs> the last one. So like the the big thing is probably going to be like if ever there is, it's going to go to straight to retail instead of going through mm. Kickstarter. Yeah. Um, will we ever get an updated Sal Ezra asks? Thiago Colas. I, did I just say that I'm not going to talk about the characters we might or might not reveal? Like, so, <laughs> like I'm not going to answer that question. Uh, any I... more potential Laura bases? Can we have mm. bases that are just Laura's face? 
Just like Third me, base. angrier and angrier on every base. <laughs> Yeah, the, main, the main thing I've got the main thing I've got my fingers crossed for as a future stretch goal, I have no idea if this is actually gonna happen because again I don't pay any attention to what's coming up. Mm-hmm. Um it, but I'd really love to see a like rebalanced and redone armory. Um mm-hmm. because I saw armory in my local and I asked someone who was more familiar with Balcon, I was like, Oh, is this uh, is armor any good? Because it looks really cool. This idea of these alternate bases, which really mix up characters' playstyle uh, and all like the fun possibilities of mixing and matching them for their decks building. And they're like, nah, they're really unbalanced. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so well, really, that, that's I'd, that's the thing I'd about really armory, like... right? <laughs> like, I probably. Like... No, sorry. Yeah. You I probably first, will. I probably will pick it up eventually if it doesn't. Even if it doesn't get rebalanced, just because it's more Battlecon, and I have almost literally everything else for Battlecon. Like once, once Devastation Unleash arrives, I'll have literally everything for Battlecon that I can. As someone who came into it really, really late, um, that's good. <laughs> uh, Dude, so I'll probably it's... pick up Armor eventually, also because I'm just. When, whenever I, whenever, because uh, I run some events, usually when I'm running low on organized play points and they need to boost them up, I'll go, hey friends, we're holding a public event in the whatever the local board game cafe is. Um, oh. And basically, whatever that month's quests are entirely dictates what I will play. I mean, obviously, that's literally <laughs> what you should do. All- <laughs> Gotta get quests those promos. To the point. Get promos. To the point, I managed to win a match with zero cards in hand as Satoshi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why, though? Because the oh. quest was to play Satoshi three times, and another quest was to win with an empty hand. But how do you even to... do that? Satoshi's entire thing is drawing cards. Um, because I got my opponent down to two health left, and then used two copies of his uh, one-cost ultra that oh deals one damage and ignores guard and armor. I just pinged them in the face with basically With an EX pennies. version? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, I, u- I, used, I used one and then I used the other. <laughs> oh, you used them twice. Okay, all right. Okay, so, wait, so let's answer some it... more questions. Let's, okay. Sorry, sorry, wait, we were losing time. Um, so I'll confirm, I, no confirmation, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> wait, what, what's this even supposed to be? Oh, that's just Laura. Laura, it, it should just all be pictures of Laura <laughs> wondering what the attacks do. Um... um... <laughs> They should do Brad acting out the bases. Can we get joke bases? That might be an interesting I thing. I actually I'm love this sure. idea of the dummy That'd bases. Drive is a dummy in the car. <laughs> yeah. It, it, would right. be, it would be pretty cool to get like a bit of a Battlecon Online crossover where it's the training dummy from Battlecon Online on bases. That could that be, be a pretty cute. That, like that, the that Rexen could be dummy? Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just yeah, the, yeah. Uh, so I <laughs> see Tawon2 asks who my mains are. So. Um, my mains for Battlecon are Irialandra Diamorella, um, purely because she's super cute and a, a magical girl, and I'm yes. a massive weeb. Uh, of course. Second main is Seven because she is adorable as hell, and probably my third main is I'd say probably Callista. Uh, she's the yeah. She's probably the one I have the most games in, just after seven, just because I played more Battlecon online than I have actual Battlecon, um, and most of my games on Battlecon online have been a seven, with a smattering of Callista here and there. So would you rate um, it seven out of ten? Yes, I would rate it seven out of seven. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, as, Excellent. As for exceed my mains. Uh, you can easily see my mains by what my Twitch emotes are. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, wonderful. Oh, the waifus. Um, let's answer some waifus. last questions before we finish it up. Armory is a lot of fun. You just have to enforce balance. Yeah, that's the thing about Armory. It's like, like, it can be as balanced or unbalanced as you want. And if your main goal in Armory is to go inside and make the most broken character ever, 
armory and then you hate the fact that your character is broken that's just not how armory works armory is like <laughs> armory is like an extra set of cards that you can use to customize your experience and you can do like draft armory to enforce balance or you can make a cube of the armory cards to enforce balance like like that's how you should play that it's not like you know this entire box set and then it's perfectly balanced it's either a for fun mode or if you want it to be balanced make your own cube um well, we get skins that are completely different characters. Uh, usually for Battlecon, this isn't the case, right? They're usually like alternate versions of the same character. So um, yeah. there has been no precedent to that. I want to try to get everything I can for Battlecon, but I don't want anything that isn't turn illegal, and I don't know what's what. Basically, all the characters. If it's in, if it's in the Unleashed Kickstarter, it's tournament legal, right? Apart exactly. from... Exactly. Yeah, even the like redone Promo. promos, like Takeshi, yeah, even the promos. are... Yeah. So if it's if it's in this Kickstarter, it's tournament legal. So the yes. only I mean the only things that are readily available that aren't tournament legal, apart from like armory and strikers and light and darkness, obviously the only things other than them that aren't tournament legal are Jin. Can't remember her name and Rarity, Rarity Seeker. Yeah, and um, those three Mergerum, aren't tournament right? legal as far as I know. Main no, Mer Merger Mergerum is tournament legal. Murder is oh, okay. Yes, so yes. just so just gin and rarity, the two that I would want okay. to use right. in a tournament. So here's here's the here's the quick breakdown. If it's a fighter that came in a battle con box that's readily available to everyone, this means no, not including promos, right? Um, that that fighter is tournament legal. None of their alternate unique abilities are tournament legal. And um, what do you call this? And all the promos from the Unleashed are legal. No other play modes aside from standard Battlecon are tournament legal. And certain characters, for now at least, are banned. But once Devastation Remastered comes in, they should be unbanned because they've mm -hmm. been balanced. Um, okay. Uh, sure, can I agree? Some now, more questions? More questions? Now we just need Exceed Unleashed so that I can use the character with the same name as me in tournaments again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? 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 Alice. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Alice, of course. Sorry. So, Tiago, I can why, actually answer this that's question. That's why I changed my name on the official Level 99 Discord to Tournament uh, Illegal. Uh, yeah. Tiago, yeah, Camber Raul, Raul Camber, uh, however you say his name, Alexian, is like a different character in Battlecon Online. He's a yeah, skin. Okay. I think he was talking specifically of Battlecon Online. Uh, oh, and Battlecon I can Online. neither. I mean confirm nor deny the existence of something like that <laughs> camber hall is camber hall is just zombie alexian like like yeah but like, he's presented it as a like different it's a character differently so. named character but it's literally just a zombie alexian. so it's like like it will <laughs> never be like you know like instead of alexian it's cloud or oh, something well, like yeah. that or a cloud like character right like, like, it's not going to be like that. It's just going to be alters of what the character originally looks like. And Camber, Camber Hall is literally just zombie Alex. So that's the <laughs> deal. How will Enderby's tournament legality work post-dev re remaster? Doesn't look like they change his tournament issue. Um, yeah, I mean, like, Enderby's not tournament banned. It's just that he has to play a specific way if he wants to be in a tournament. So I'm not sure whether or not... Like, the issue will never change because to fix the tournament issue implies to change Enderbyte entirely, right? So at the end of the day, it might just stay the same. When is shipping supposed to happen? Oh, it says on the Kickstarter. Sorry. <laughs> you can just check it on the Kickstarter. Uh, delivery is like 2019 or something. Uh, Dev Remaster is not out though, Kif. Yeah, Dev Extended. So Dev Extended has Juto and Borneo, the only two characters who are not in a main Battlecon box that are tournament legal because dev extended is a readily available battlecon box and judo and borneo are characters in that box um that's, i think that's something i'm missing i need to pick up that as well yeah so i need to get dev extended if i want to get all the characters even though they stop doing the extended though um dev extended has judo and borneo um if you want to get all of them then sure <laughs> you need to get that um there's still probably some copies of dev extended flying around but the thing about like judo and borneo that they're not tournament characters so um yeah like they're not good for tournament but he has a different skin and different dialogues and it's cool i would like more of those i mean if you want just a skin that just like looks different than their usual and then has different dialogue 
that's mm-hmm. a thing, right? Like, but it's it's not like we're gonna have like Cloud is Alexian or like we have Bayonetta instead of Rook. It's, it just doesn't work that way. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, a- Enderbite is legal. Enderbite <laughs> is legal. It's just that he has to come in with um, with a predetermined kit instead of mm-hmm. like changing kits every freaking game. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, it looks like I could pick up. Um... Batacon Devastation of Indians extended from Amazon. They have some in stock, and by the looks of it, it the it's pretty official stock because it's uh, Prime compatible. Yeah, Dev um, Extended is pretty readily available. It's War that that's War was one of, War Extended. Excuse me, was one of the reasons why we couldn't offer more of like the perfect collection. Um, mm, is because yeah. we literally don't have those uh i mean you may still be able to find them online you know but we can't guarantee that we'll have 600 of them you know coming from our distribution yeah changing kits is what makes enderbite fun it's actually what makes him really really strong um and i understand like changing kits is what makes enderbite fun yeah i get that but at the same time tournaments have time limits okay (laughs) And if every Enderbite player had to spend five to ten minutes every game just to get out their character, it yeah. just it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> uh, Q Alice literally finishing her collection on Steam on stream. You yes, probably probably could just click it like Amazon one button click. I could literally order it right now, and it'd be here probably Monday. Yeah, yeah, and the the thing about it is that Enderbite's tournament change is actually changes his dynamic entirely because instead of building a kit that's good against a specific fighter for a specific game, you have to build a kit based on what you think other people will bring in general, right? Mm. So it's like you're, you're drafting this character who might have to do well against certain kinds of characters depending on what you think the meta is. So you have to actually predict the meta and then build your Enderbite accordingly, which I think is a very cool gameplay in its own right. Mm. To be honest, it would take me more than five minutes. Heck yeah, exactly. That's my point. <laughs> The and, best thing and, is, yeah. Enderbite becomes tournament legal by including a coloring book and some crayons that you can just give to your opponent. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's the only <laughs> way. Because it's more thematic. Um, yeah, because he like he <laughs> you pick the artifacts you bring with you before you enter, right? The best thing for BCO for me is the time limit. Yeah, time limit is good and bad, depending on your, your uh, of gameplay. Mm. Imagine Enderbite walking up to a huge fight and, oh, excuse me, give me about an hour to reconfigure myself. I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, we're about to end. If there are no more questions, I would like to thank everyone for tuning into our reveal stream and post-game Q&A. Uh, I hope all of you enjoyed seeing Rin and Veckel fight. This was a pretty close match. I'd like to congratulate my opponent, Alice, for doing so well for the first time uh, <laughs> as a Rin. First time Rin probably less than my 100th game of Battlecon ever. Probably less than my 50th Battlecon game ever. Battle, battle girl. Well Rin is my battle girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, so for reference, like, I have 500 games or something. So, yeah, it's, it's a big deal. So it's a big deal that we were so close at the end, right? Mm. And it's pretty what close. I do, what I do have is 1,061 hours in Tabletop Simulator. Oh, jeez. How many games of Exceed do you have, by the way? I Um, I think you have like over 300 at this point, right? Probably. I've played a lot of Exceed, especially when it gets close to the end of the organized play seasons and I need more matches because like, okay, cool. Exceed, I know that I can stomp people into the ground with pretty consistently, especially if it's my friends. Um, (laughs) Yeah, of course. I played against a friend on Thursday and I played five games, I played four games as the four the four characters that got a new alternate art character card. Uh, from oh yeah, they're Last so cool. Uh, they're like so, Kali and like the Joffrey Alter. It's so good. Yeah, yeah and Llewellyn, cool. Lowen, um, which is funny because had someone Welsh over for that night of gaming, which is cool. I was like, hey, look, oh. someone, someone else is Welsh. Uh, and then for my fifth match, I decided to be evil and play Renea. <laughs> Oh no! Can we not? Can we not like <laughs> torture our friends? Like um, Tar- Tarankin and probably a couple of other people in chat can vouch for what happens when I play Renee and exceed. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, wait, let's just finish up these last few mentions. Uh, I kind of wish that was Enderbyte's UA, then Enderbyte works for BC11. I mean, like, that's the plan, like, actually, yeah. to just have Enderbyte configure before Q. That's actually yeah. the plan. Um, but the deal is that we need UI for Enderbyte to configure his cards, right? <laughs> and that's a lot of work. Just ask Laura. <laughs> Um, it does really feel the future of VC is a lot tighter when it comes to balancing. That's a lot in part to Daniel Honig, also known as Uh he's, he's a really good balance lead. Uh, organized play, stomp your friends for fun and profit. Yes, indeed. Okay, so that pretty much does it for our stream. We will end it right now. Thank you so much for tuning in to the stream. Remember that tomorrow, Saturday, 4 p.m. PST, we will also be having another stream. This time talking with me and Anderol about certain things about balance and... Um, you know, balancing. So if you feel like Battlecon's more tightly balanced and want to know why, well, tomorrow we will be talking about balancing as well as mastery of the game. So if you want to learn more about Battlecon, get better at Battlecon, or understand the design principles behind balancing in Battlecon, tune in to us tomorrow. Yeah? I want to get better at Battlecon. <laughs> oh, then tune in tomorrow. Ah, yeah, excellent. All right. So without much else to say, thank you so much for watching. As usual, it has been me, your host, Marco DeSantos. Well, no. As usual, it has been me, your player, Marco DeSantos, also known as Mechanic Critic. And with me has been my amazing host. <gasps> Laura Levito. And with me has been my amazing opponent. Alice, a.k.a. Bob Lover. And don't forget your special action. And thank you, World of Indians. Thank you. And good night. Bye. Quickly end the stream. End the stream. Go, 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 go quick. End, end it, please. please.